I know a lot of other podcasts are doing a lot of pocket watching. <gasps> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm I've been I've, I started the trend. Mandy been getting to it. Have y'all seen Mandy? Oh yeah. lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I who mean, you've been pocket watching. Somebody bro, not on the podcast. You, you, bro, bro, <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Well, you, you know her in real life, so no, I know. Like Mandy, yeah. she she's the homie. Like shout out to Full Core Studios. All like, Wait, but cool. now nah, I've been pocket watching watching Mandy. You should stop. No, why? Why? Anybody who get their teeth done, I gotta see how they get that shit. <laughs> I'm dead ass, bro. Like just Mandy up. been getting to it. Shout out to Mandy. Yeah, Shout nah. out to Mandy. Pocket washing is bad though. It, it because I was thinking about so where we record, there's a ton of other podcasts that record. Yeah. And that's dope. I think it's cool. That, that was hate. We're like sister wives. <laughs> that was hate. Nah, we're like sister wives. Y- your voice crackled when you said that. I that's good. <laughs> I mean, maybe I lie, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, it's a lot of other parts that I see in the studio, and I'd be like, "Oh shit, that's that's where we record now." Us being one of like the first pods who had association with the studio, some more hate. I take a little bit of pride in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, because I'm like, "Oh like, well, we, shit, we, we, like, we were the first, we, we were the first. Were, yeah, in the beginning type shit." Like, yeah, yeah. "Oh, alright, cool." But now I see it's growing, so you got to be happy yeah. for growth. Got to always no Diddy. Got to. You got to be happy when you see things grow. Yeah, but then, um, you know, last week we changed the setup. Yeah, I hope we you guys noticed that. So beautiful. if you're on YouTube, you can kind of see we did a little different variation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I tried to explain to Alex and Reggie, and Alex, he didn't have mm-hmm. this problem because Yo. he... he Alex moves like the African prince that he was in his past <laughs> life. Yeah. All right? So Good to meet you. Alex will <laughs> never sit on the couch. No, I, would, I sit on couch. Nah, the he... only time he sits on couches is in the club. <laughs> Other than that, Alex standing. always has his own chair. Yeah. If you go to our old studio, yeah. he was in his own chair. Yeah. He didn't share a couch. That's true. We started here. <laughs> he, he said he, he didn't even ask. Like it wasn't uh-huh. even no diplomacy. And he's like, oh, that's my chair. It wasn't yeah. even diplomatic. Just it was, sat down. That's my shit, nigga. Get on the couch with Reggie. <laughs> and I just had the whole. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what? It's my man's. I gotta respect it. He called dibs. It's like when you call shotgun in the front seat. Oh, this nigga called shotgun on the chair, so I just let it ride. Cool. <laughs> it's not true. So then when we get to this studio, I'm like, yo, guys. Yeah. This little ass couch is bothering me. Now, I don't know how many people looked on the YouTube when we had the long yellow couch thing. For me, it was very uncomfortable. Reggie. You said that a lot. You look phenomenal on that couch. I did not see the problem with the yellow couch. I had no idea what Savon was complaining about. I ain't got he no ass. He was talking about his height. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I ain't got no ass. Yo, why, why, why would, why, why don't they So, me? for you t- me. You take Lil Swift in the back. I'm super T Swift. <laughs> I have no ass. Long I'm back. Yeah, I'm a long back nigga. <laughs> and so when I was sitting on that couch, bro, like it was it, hurt? it was uncomfortable. It was like because Ugh. that couch is for a set. What is going on? That couch is not I'm for not like it. comfort. <laughs> what? So when I nah, sat but on it's that, some cushions on it. <laughs> but I don't got no ass. So those cushions wasn't enough. Is it like, thing cushion? All right, so my grandfather, he ain't got no ass either. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna now lie. he bringing his grants into this. <laughs> because it's a genetic thing. I'm back living my toe. It's a genetic thing. Hey. Right. So I was very uncomfortable on that couch, <laughs> which led me to Mandy. Because I saw Mandy on her podcast, Period Sis. Got you. And she did this whole new elaborate setup here in this studio. And I was like, holy shit, nobody's ever done this. Nobody's uh-huh. ever done this. The seating, the lighting. The seats. I didn't yeah. even know they had red seats in the studio. She was keeping them in the tuck for herself. And she kept it like, yeah. I, so it nah, made you me. you something. I don't see the red seats. Just watch a little bit. Like, <laughs> when you walk in the studio, you don't even see the red seats. Nah, Shout out to me. You know what it is? When you own something, you just can't have, you got to keep some things tuck, tucked away. I'm not you mad at that. Yeah, no, I agree with some that. Some things you can't like have that. for general pop. Yeah. I like that. I'm like, not you, mad. You, you guys aren't have to, yeah. you guys aren't about to have a better looking pod right. in my own studio than me. So. Y'all, never, y'all never used to be kids. <laughs> and then, you know, your mom had a girlfriend who had a son or had a daughter. Here come this dirty nigga want to play with your toys. <laughs> oh, but when you find out he come, you go hide your toys. Okay. That's what she's doing with her red couches. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, nah, nah you had the toys we played when we together with each other. Some other toys, that's exclusive. We're going to keep, keep that upstairs. Yeah. And I support that. I ain't mad at that. Um, okay. yeah. it, also, up? you might be seeing a Pierre cam for Yo. those of you looking at home. Oh, shit. Got to bring that up. So many changes. So many changes. Oh, oh, shit. I love it. I Savon, like this. Savon was like, Yo, Pete, if you come to the studio today without your camera or something to show you, we're going to have to kick you out. Oh, my God. He has a little cute little light. Like, it's... Yeah, I, I was <laughs> real close to letting everybody know, like, until Pierre figured out the camera situation, <laughs> you probably wasn't going to hear his voice for a little bit. <laughs> Damn, y'all. <laughs> but you made it work. Shout out to Pierre. So, everybody who's been asking me, what does Pierre look like? Pierre, pan to yourself right now. Right now. Boom. Boom. 
There you That's go. That's Pierre. Now he's taking, lady. Up, so back up. What's up, what's up, what's up, you know, what's up? speaking of that, and we'll talk about this a little bit later, yeah. but I'm going to get into my theory on why I only befriend married men. Talk to us. Okay. We're not going to do that right Wait, now. what? You we're, have we're mad not. unmarried no, 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 friends, No, Savon. but they're all old. Old what? friends. Any new nigga in I, my life. What Alex? You just call be, me dumb old? I know what. This nigga almost 10 years. Yeah. Oh. And I'm not saying any new friend in my life. Like within the last have, three years. Within the last, yes. Three, okay. two, one, whatever. John is married. You guys, and, are, you guys are buddies. <laughs> That's and, my guy. And I've known you for more than three years. <laughs> nah, but I'm oh, just saying, I'm using you, you as the example. Okay. okay. Because anybody who, like any man that comes into my life as a friend, like yeah. you gotta, you gotta be married. <laughs> that's the that's the prerequisite. But what about you though? Yo, you what about meet you, you meet a new guy. You're like, are you married? <laughs> and then if he says, it's a little awkward at first because niggas be looking at you like, nigga, why you asking me if I'm married? But you don't ask about there's sports. A there's a method to the madness. Chris Brown and Quavo, they gave me the blueprint on why you need to only befriend married men. <laughs> we'll revisit this. We will yeah. definitely revisit, revisit this. this. Okay, in like, like, that. like the forty minute mark, we'll get back to that. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Yeah. But what's going on, everybody? Speaking it's a new. What's up? No, 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 no. Alex has to say it. No, 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 no. Because I was going to get into pocket washing on the athletes, but you know, intro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We could do both. We could do both. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of the Need to Know Podcast. I go by the name Savon. Yeah. What up, y'all? Your boy A. As always, the Paco Rabon Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the posse. Hello, guys. It's me, Reggie. And I want to get this out of the way before we forget. Please join our Twitter community. Yes. Um, I don't know how they find it. Do they just go on our Twitter page? I don't know. I'm new to the this. The links are everywhere <laughs> in the description of this episode. Yes. It's actually been right pretty here? fun. We're over 200 okay. members by now. We're chatting it up in there. Yeah. And yes. I've noticed that I don't tweet a lot regularly now, but in there, I like talking to the people in there because yeah. they actually care about us. They bring They're up good lit. points. Please join our Twitter community. It's please, lit. Please. It's called X. Oh my god! It's, it's not, it'll, not it'll this. It's, it's called, called X. No, it's not, not. bro. It, you it's know, not. y'all sound like the old people who don't want to change. No, no, no. But it's you, so no, 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 no. When Savon, <laughs> when Savon reads something, he goes, yeah. "Oh, let me read this tweet. You never yeah. said let Facts. me read this. Let X. me read this X. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's not an X. It's I don't know. You never I don't said call it that. though. You always call it a tweet, Savon. I thought it was still a tweet. Nah, I don't know. X X doesn't even roll off the tongue correctly. Yeah. Come on, Elon. You wasn't thinking about what rolls off the tongue. No, you was just in your dude. No one has said. Oh, let me read this X. No, no, no one, one has like, said that. Nigga, fuck out of here. This app is X? so trash now. X. Eh, I think yeah. the thing that's saving it for me is, like you said, our community. Because since we had our community, like that's why I kind of go to get my news, kind of talk to the people. Mm -hmm. but I don't really like. There's too much porn. Have y'all noticed that? Yeah. For that for reason sure. alone, I'm, I'm not bugging. I don't open it in public. No, legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, because they, lessen, like, they lessen the restrictions, so that's why there's so much more porn now these days. Bro, it's crazy. So, on, on the timeline now, now you have like three timelines. If you're in a community, you have multiple timelines. Yeah. If you're not in a community, yeah. you have like a, a for you kind of mm -hmm. community where mm -hmm. it's what just is, random people. They think they know you. And then they have- a following. Like, yeah, a following, mm -hmm. right? Like- and the default is the for you. So when I just wake up, like I normally do, right? Twitter, yeah. X, whatever you want to call it. That's like my newspaper. That's the first thing I do. I get my news from X. I get my news from Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And then that's how I start my day. Normally. Yeah. Off the wake up. That's off the, the wake thing. up. Don't yeah. even we brush We gotta my stop teeth. doing that, guys. <laughs> no, that shit's cool. No, that's cool. It's not healthy, no, Savon. No, that's not no. news. It is, though. It's just no. filled with toxic thoughts the first, after you open your eyes in the morning. <laughs> See, it used to be filled with toxic thoughts. But now... It's filled with just porn. <laughs> you like that shit. Though. I don't. Nah, you like I that. I stopped shit. when you stopped watching that no, shit. No, you didn't. Nah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. <laughs> no, you didn't. So, no, that like ass, three bro. weeks ago or something like that. Yeah, no, I stopped a long time ago. Nah, for real. I, I that ass. <laughs> long story short. <laughs> <shit. laughs> This shit is not lit no more. Elon yeah. fucked up X. He fucked up Twitter. Whatever you mm. want to call it, it's just not a good resource. It anymore. really used to be so much. It, fun. It, it's not. The only reason I'm more in there is to talk to the people who fuck with us. So please, mm -hmm. like Reggie said, go to the community, yeah. tap in. Uh, we'll fuck with y'all if y'all fuck with us. We're not letting no nudes in the community, right? Hey, that's up to them. They're gonna get honestly. They, that's up to them. Oh, they're not gonna get banned. Now we got like a 70-30 men to women ratio. We don't want no nudes. Okay, no hammer pitch, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no I hammer pitch. Super, super cool on that. Same. I know we started this thing with Mandy, so I do want to give her a shout out. I also want to give the other podcast that I'm a part of a special, special shout out. The woo, Can't woo. Afford Therapy Podcast. Right. We won two Webby Awards. Jeez, Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. What, what's crazy is Savon didn't even tell the chat. We had to find out, like. Yeah, I just I found think Mason, out. Mason hit the chat like, hey, uh, congrats, Savon. I'm looking like, what, Savon? Um, what no, but before? I'm a real friend. I congratulated him at 9.30 in the morning. She Ooh. definitely <laughs> did. She definitely so, did. Damn, she be so, in tune. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody who listens to both podcasts, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in. Salute. Um, the podcast is very, very different. Um, it's a little bit more evergreen. Um, mm-hmm. it's a little like life overarching topics. I like the topics life, self help. Yeah. It's very vulnerable. There's some deep stuff over there. So if you haven't tapped in, please make sure y'all go tap in. Mm-hmm. But again, we did win two Webby Awards. I'm super, super proud of that. That's fine. That's crazy. Um, you won your first green, yo. This <laughs> <laughs> you going to drink out of it? I'm not. You ain't put no liquor. Yeah, in do it? they send you like a little trophy thing? They got to. I think it's a plaque. A plaque. Oh, okay, oh, so you got to eat spaghetti plaque. over it. So you got to eat spaghetti a, over I'm, it. I won't do that. Is that eat spaghetti over it? Nah. Is that your first plaque? Or a little oxtail? No, nah, I got don't play with him. nigga. I'm a winner. So whoa, 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 what the whoa, fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you talking like, come on, my nigga, it's me. Don't play but, with him. I actually won two as talent, and I I, I won one as a producer. Oh, he swept. Uh, over on HBO. So, so I actually came home winning shit. with three oh, awards, um, and that's dope. So yeah, shout out to Mandy, uh, Josh, shit. Antoinette, the good folks over who who's helped us with that podcast, Facts. and also at my job, HBO. Like we, we went crazy over at HBO, too, for the Succession podcast. Oh, Oh, wow. um, the Last of Us show. podcast yeah. and a few others. So, I'm yeah. sensing a common denominator. What's the common denominator? It's just you. It's you. He- Hello. You, know, you bring greatness I, I, I everywhere you go. I don't want to take credit because there's a lot. Of, <laughs> there's a lot. Sometimes you got to. But you know what? Now it was you know me. Mean, it was nah, like, ah. Save on like Kanye. He God, right? No. Oh, my God. No, no, he's not doing that. Let's see what happens. You give a nigga camera. I didn't expect you to say that. That's not what he's saying. I would never say anything like that. I'm just grateful. I woke up and, you know, like, we just go about life. We just keep, you know, one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. I love it. And then I'll just wait. I'll be like, wait, what the fuck is my life? So I'm just mm-hmm. really, really appreciative in this moment. And I just want to say thank you for anybody who supported either podcast. I will also let Alex and Reggie know on air because I do this thing where I don't really tell them anything before the cameras like come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm gonna submit this podcast in the future. I'll make sure that we submit as a podcast. Oh, you want us to submit? We can do it together. Yeah. We can do it. I think so. I think we should submit. And I feel like the people who support us over here too will show mm-hmm. out the same way Can't Afford they Therapy folks showed out. So yeah. Tap Again, shout out to the Webbies. I think it's an awesome achievement and, and thank y'all. Appreciate you salute a lot yeah. to get into man yeah we do have a ton to get into over here though i don't i don't know where y'all want to begin um so there, many places there were a <laughs> few things i have a quick question How yeah what's up let's start with my question all right and i want y'all to really think about this okay this is a sexist question okay <laughs> gotta be clear you know what i appreciate the warning <laughs> Just, just let him. I, I know what I'm getting this into. This is a sexist question. Okay, <laughs> get in your bag now. But not the worst way. But it is. I don't know what you want me to He's tell. He's like, you. this will offend you, Regina. <laughs> just but I'm gonna you know. say it. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna offend. But I want you to think. All the men listening to this podcast and all the ladies listening to this podcast. I want you to think about this for your gender or whatever it is that you identify as. As a man, yeah, there are certain things that I judge other men for. Mm. Oh, I don't I judge. I, I don't judge say. women for. Mm. But as a man, I judge other men. Yeah, I know you're going with so this. as I tell y'all what it is that I judge other men for, I want y'all to think about what it is that you judge the same sex as you for. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, this is definitely sexist. Thank you for the precursor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my bet, disclaimer was crazy. Bet. So for me, uh, there's a few things, but the first thing that comes to mind, I judge men for using umbrellas. What? Nah, nah. I gotta refute that. No, I thought you were gonna. I I thought you were gonna take it completely (laughs) elsewhere. As a man, I don't think you should wear or use or even own an umbrella. So getting getting water droplets, whatever comes your way, is not masculine enough for you. Do bro, I pro every bro. I had to commute to work the other day, and it was treacherous outside. Yes. The rain pour. I'm like, oh, shit, I got to take the subway. Fuck, I get on a bus, a train, all this other bullshit just to get home. <laughs> and I see grown men yeah. fighting with the wind and the rain to not get hit by water. Don't do that. What the fuck? I used to think like you. I used to think like you. Bro, real shit. you real don't shit. need an umbrella, bro. No, no, you do. You're you want to know? This is such a that's not true. stupid we used, conversation. Yeah, a grown that's not true. Man, that's not just true. use an umbrella. Never. Please. Never. Like, you know what it is? We drive. We're used to driving, right? Okay. So this mindset you're speaking about, I used to think the exact same way like, until uh-huh. so I started working in Times Square in New York mm-hmm. City. Yeah. And now you're going to work in the morning and your whole fit going to be fucked up if you ain't got a protector. Literally. I ain't going to lie, bro. Be some blocks I be walking. Why? I don't have work wives. I don't have work wives either. So then why you got to look good when you get to work? So I don't fucking smell like mildew. Oh. Bro, it's not that bad. And be uncomfortable. It's not that bad. And be bro. mad uncomfortable. Bro, be a man. No, but what when you, you walk, when you walk in the building, say what when you're soaking about? wet, that's disgusting. But that gives you even more of a reason to be like, yo, I was late. 
No. You don't see no. Your no, fit no. fucked up now. No, then your boss would be like, you don't know how to fucking use an umbrella, you yeah. idiot. <laughs> and then I'm going to look at him like, yo, you pussy, nigga. No. no, you're not. No. Yeah, I'm sure. Ironing, now, I'm sure. ironing, I'm with you. Facts. Like, if y'all niggas is ironing everything, still ironing everything, wait, wait, wait. all right, y'all no. need to iron what? everything. No, what? No. Things okay. have changed. Huh? Okay, but you want to pull up with wrinkled clothes, Alex? It, no. It, but, but, I'm not following but, either of these things. No, the that's new clothes, they just be unwrinkling themselves. No, they not. No, they don't. The new clothes kind of be just unwrinkling got, themselves. The, re, the reason why they're wrinkling. I iron this shit. Look, this look good. That's because you it got money. You go to the dry cleaner. I, with some stuff. He does with dry clean underwear. his boxers, yes. We're true friends. Look at that. We, <laughs> both, we both recorded <laughs> that <laughs> story. So if you go to the dry cleaner, do you don't Yo, need the iron. I'll do that over. You I, what literally, what I literally <laughs> tweeted the other day, like, I was like, Umbrella is like top five inventions ever. I no, literally, because I was for walking women. around. No, because I was walking around. Yo, and I was like, holding my umbrella, I was like, this is phenomenal. Like, I do I do see where you're coming so from. I'm so grateful. Nah, yeah. man, don't no, do that. no, don't no. Like, I used to no, think like you, no, but no, until no. I had to put on a fit <laughs> and be feeling like nonsense no. without the fucking umbrella throughout the whole day. You shouldn't wear an outfit that you care about to work. That's you probably where up, you should. You can't show up to work looking like a bum. <laughs> what the fuck? Looking but mad you don't go like, I'm here. You know what's funny? Every mm -hmm. time I decide to look like a bum, I see the most fire baddie I've ever seen in my life. It'd mm -hmm. be some random shit. But if you really him, it don't matter what you're wearing. Oh I mean, not nah, never that. But still, you want to look your best for whatever you're doing. No, you don't. Ah, right. not, <laughs> not when you go. Not when you go to work. Right. Yes, not you when do. you go to work. Yes. At, yeah, bro. At my job, yes, we, we running the people at my job. You too. Nah, I don't. Okay, well, y'all got the posters <laughs> hanged up. They be in there. They looking at you. They <laughs> you don't think your coworkers judge you if you come to work with a with a terrible fit on? Yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly, mm. Pierre. Like, like I'm gonna be honest. I think and 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 I think there's two things. <laughs> that white folks really don't care about. Okay. <laughs> Kieran, <laughs> one this is how you dress to work. Okay. And two is washing their hands after the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all nasties. I be seeing y'all. Bro, I'm I not going to lie. I be seeing y'all. I ain't going to lie to motherfuckers. I don't, I don't know the last time <laughs> yeah. I, I, I peed next to a white nigga. <laughs> and his his time out of the bathroom is but like, it, it, it just usurps the speed good, of how I go. Ooh, Use good about word. Good you get yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's in state. <laughs> They don't wash their hands. <laughs> they just don't. I don't know what it is. Yo, Karen, don't dab me today, bro. Because <laughs> now hey, I'm triggered. don't do that to my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my man, though. No, our white friend is clean. Nah, he good. My homie over there good. Right. Nah, he good. He my good. homie over nah, there Nah, I know good. Karen be rushing sometimes. <laughs> Why are you timing I still his peas? That nigga, though. That's what it is. Or yo, men can't do anything. Nah, he can't ass, use nah. umbrellas. Oh my god, I'm using an umbrella. I don't know what this nigga told me. No, bro. literally, not nah, for me. Same on, you're on your own with this one. <laughs> Just funny. use the fucking. I told umbrella. you, sexist. You're supposed to. We're not. <laughs> I love my cute little umbrellas. I will say this though. Yeah, I did feel like a bozo when that wind combined with that rain. Yo, and, and then it flips. <laughs> it flips. I be sitting here talking about to... how you look. <laughs> now you're talking about the baddies. Imagine the baddie looking at you fighting with I, the one in the umbrella. I'm going to drop it, go inside the shop. No. <laughs> so just, she don't see. Or just order an Uber. <laughs> or I'm going to just order the Uber from there. Yeah. But nah, bro. Umbrella's just not it. You just like let it go and act it's like it wasn't yours. It. Yeah, I just let it go. You know how many times I did no. that shit? Like, Next it. time I see Simon in a storm... No, I'm Leave gonna, I'm gonna check store. if he has an umbrella. Leave I in. won't. I that's car privilege. I feel that's, like this is cap. That's car privilege. Not, it is. Not. It is. If it's you didn't really... drive as much as you did, you would look at umbrellas differently. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Yeah. No, because I've been a commuter all my life. Yeah. Like this just this is my just my life. That's why I know the importance of umbrellas. Just right. wear a good jacket. No, Invest then you're gonna the fuck up your jacket. Gets wet. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> he, Savon's like, wear your best jacket in the storm, guys. You never heard of Rainex? Yeah, I heard of Rain X. Just yeah. spray that shit on your jacket, and no. that shit is repelling. You're Folks, such an extreme do not person. Ass. If you are at home <laughs> listening to this close or your watching, eyes. do not close your eyes and do not, I repeat, do not put Rain X <laughs> on, the on your clothing. All right? That's the shit they throw in the car washes. I see it myself. This nigga's crazy. Or just, <sighs> get, a, just get a more sturdy umbrella. Yeah, but, but then it'd be heavy. <laughs> then it'd be feel like you got a, like a Willy mm -hmm. Wonka wand or mm -hmm. some shit. And then when I lose it, I'd be sick. Because I lose all my umbrellas, so what? they should be like tampon. All right, he, what? Just yeah. put them in a woman's aisle. Niggas oh. should not buy. Or them. you use them when you need them. Yeah, nah. there you go. So I, like, I, like yeah, I, like, I like that one better. I like that one better. Yeah. 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 You know, like rain affects everybody, Savon. Bro, not just women. But you're like, as a man, you just shouldn't own an umbrella unless you want to be a gentleman to give a woman an umbrella. How romantic. Then 
All right, cool. That makes sense. That I should never own an umbrella, bro. You know what's so stupid? That just reminded me of like chivalry and shit like that. Yeah. Do you remember in the old movies when there's a puddle, the man takes off the jacket and puts it in the puddle so the woman can walk? Yeah. How yeah, was fucking ne- stupid is I that? I was never doing that. Like, yo, the, the, puddle, the puddle is still there and now your jacket is Outta fucking here. musty. Bugging. And I still can't walk over this stupid puddle. I'll, I'll walk around the puddle and I'll be like, white, this fucking bugging. stupid and, ass man. And if you get dubbed and sh- or she's not your shorty, yeah. You're gonna be walking around with just a wet jacket. Looking yeah, crazy. like what Mad the as fuck hell is that? Like, carrying that shit around. Now I'll uh, add to what you're saying, right? One thing um I judge men for. It's definitely uh, when they start complaining about the date thing on the on the timeline. What you mean? You like know, dating life? Spl- uh no, uh, uh splitting locations. splitting a oh, bill. 50-50? The 50-50 thing uh, right. that y'all niggas like to do online. I judge y'all so bad. Y'all have no Literally, idea. Literally, like, why would you say that publicly? That is bro, the like... African. That is the African man inside of me. <laughs> that would be, would be feeling like that. It's not the the guy that you meet here. Okay, it's the okay. So tell tell him yeah. how you supposed to do it. Eh? What you mean? How you supposed to do it? Listen, man. Like we said, this was sexist. Which, what, yo, Reggie, what y'all be saying? <laughs> I'm just a girl. Ain't that, <laughs> yo, I'm just man, a girl. Pick up the bill, bro. Stop complaining about the bill, bro. All right? Stop complaining about being the a rent. dude of her life. All mm-hmm. right? Like, you're going to have to do certain things, man. Like, it's all right. You be crying. Uh, the, the bill, I don't want to see it. Right, cool. <laughs> so go by yourself. <laughs> well, get me tight about the niggas. I feel like Alice is disgusted. I, just, I get <laughs> disgusted. Uh, I got to spend the especially, bill. I, especially bro, at right now. our age. Like, especially at our age. Like not right now. I like that. Not if right we now. were like high school potters or something cool. like that, yes, okay. D- debate the 50 50 shit, whatever. We don't know any better, but cool. <sighs> Jesus. The whole is you just gotta pay. You're gonna have to pay. <laughs> you just gotta pay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm and, sorry, bro. And if you don't have money, there's a lot of things you can do that don't involve money. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Now nah, there's proper not. compensation. There is. There's that ass not. For certain there people. Is. What's the date? Um, no, for real. And I'm not even trying to be funny or like elitist <laughs> or none of that shit. Yes, you will. Um, no, because I was playing a game over the weekend. I yeah. had some friends. We had this card game. And the card game uh-huh. said, uh, Where was our invite? What's anyway? the best? <laughs> <laughs> you had a game night without us? That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. I didn't have a game night. But <laughs> what is the, the, the best? Um, um, date night that you can have for twenty dollars or less. A uh, picnic? Perhaps. No. What yeah, you mean? You asked the question and I answered. But, and right. it was like, no. no. But think about it. <laughs> think about what you need for a picnic. There's uh, no date in the world that you can go for twenty dollars right now or less and like yes, you can. have fun. You go, oh my god, you go Say, Savon, you just don't want to hear an answer. I right, no, tell me. I'm gonna shut up. Because I could do. Okay, you get a little blanket, yeah. you get a little charcuterie. Now you already got uh, the you, blanket. You, you, you have mad blankets at home. You already have the. Bar. You don't have to buy a new blanket for the. Okay, and then you <laughs> buy some, you know, some cute little things, some cute little beverages, Bruh. cute little snacks, Give me a little the card game, for everything having so that much you're fun, quality time. Boom. <laughs> A little charcuterie ain't, ain't, ain't expensive. It's the like charcuterie what, five, board is like five, forty eight dollars. That's not true. Go to Trader Joe's, buy the little brie cheeses. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you answers that you just don't want to accept. It. Nah, it's a bunch of things to do. Go to go to a pier. <laughs> Look at the water. Facts. Right. Nice little romantic. Hey, uh-huh. You said twenty, right? Yeah, twenty. Ah, right, yeah. you you go get you two hoagies. Ten dollars a piece, or without the hoagies, if you just want to drink three margaritas, what you, you know? Drink? Huh? What you go drink? Uh, it's water out there, right? <laughs> and on, uh, <laughs> <gasps> this is what you do if you really don't have money. Only do date shit. sober queens, so you she don't talking. have to pay for their drinks. She talking, <laughs> but then the sex is gonna be trash. <laughs> Who that told is you not that? True. I know some sober queens. You're way. so close, my dude. <laughs> 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 What'd you say? Yo, it can only go oh, one shit. way. For no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Alex said, double negative? That. Alex said, I know some sober wet. I know some sober wet. I'm so sorry. That's a uh, double negative. Reggie, what is your sexist like thing that you look at women I don't for? Know. I've been thinking about what I judge women <laughs> on. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think, I'm really trying not to be like the fake, like, oh my God, positive yeah. queen. But like, I can't think of anything like, oh, her body. I don't judge mm. women's bodies. I don't judge their, I don't judge their nails. I don't judge their Ugh. hair. I don't judge their men. I don't, I don't know. Say some ideas. Yeah, and let, one time you mentioned that you enjoy, you don't like when women complain about men playing games. Wait, what? Like video games. Yeah. Like you, you endorse it. Uh, like you're not yeah, mad so at I that. So I don't judge. Like you don't judge women. I get, okay. Yeah. I guess we'll flip it. Yeah. If a woman gets so mad at go. her boyfriend just because he plays 2K a lot and she fucking complains about all the time. I'm like, girl, can you shut up? Yeah, you're judging just her Just let him play the video game. Yeah. Makes him happy. You're judging her for that. That's a fact. I remember yeah. you said that. But I don't know. No. I don't know. Okay. I don't have any yeah, fun fine. answers. No, <laughs> for, for me, it's if you can't... What's the word I'm looking for? If you don't know how to use tools... Mm. Or oh, if you're not to, like handy and shit? Yeah, if you're not handy, mm. I, I don't know if you could really consider yourself like 
Oh, man. Like Boy. when you thought I couldn't change a tire on the side of the road yeah. in 30 yeah. degree that's weather? Why, that's, that's why, honestly, right? when that's you why thought I, I so couldn't do that, that, right? But I did that shit in like 22 minutes. <laughs> Tell them. Allegedly, you I wasn't there that. to see it. I wasn't there to see uh, it. But I promise. I think I, I promise. Like I will do a competition. I will change a tire faster than you, Pierre. No funny. <laughs> I would love to see no this happen. Y'all taking bets? No Listeners, funny. y'all taking bets? Y'all taking no funny. I, I just, I'm curious. I right promise now. you, because <laughs> Pierre talks a lot of shit. He does. And you want to know what's funny? Yo, put the camera on you right now, nigga. I'm so glad you got this camera. He's like you want to know what's man. funny? What's funny? What's up? Pierre talks a ton of shit. Oh, my geez. I know. a lot of shit. Like, I don't know how you do it, Samo, because he calls you the most. So I'm like, bro, he OD. talks <laughs> so much shit. OD, OD. But when it comes to, but he's like, a good guy. I don't know why he keeps my doubting me. Pastime. I don't know why he keeps like, doubting me. Like, there's two examples that I have, and then we're gonna get into the shit because we got so much to talk about. We're gonna get into it. Y'all the promise. first one, yeah, we have a race coming up. Well, <laughs> yes, y'all I do. have a race coming up. Well, I thought Pierre did it too. We had a race coming up. Yeah, he, he's not doing a race, yeah. right? Mind you, Reggie, if I would have flaked on this race, you know how Pierre I don't, would have dragged would have it. Never tri- let you hear the end of it. Would have dragged it. Triathlon, <laughs> Spartan, jumping over fire obstacles. Like yeah. it's a real. It's not just a five k run. Yeah. Nah, man, we, Watch we, we, we. No, it's <laughs> a real fucking obstacle course. That's okay. intense. He backed out for whatever reason. I get it. Cool. The second thing is, no, 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 video no, no, no. It's a very important reason why. What's that? I had to go to work, and I already did that race. So catch up. That was such a oh, man. That, 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 that was such a manly. No, no, I, such a manly no, I got the medal from last year. You've never done year. a Spartan race. I did it before with Ron. Oh, he naming names. The same, the same person, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring in the. I'll bring in the medal next year. But you fronted on to, me. Yeah, you and know. that's all that matters. Ron's not here. Shout out to Ron. Good yeah. guy. The second thing is. <laughs> oh, that's a real person. Pierre talked so much shit. Of course, yeah, it's that competition. Man, about video games. You freaking really? Ran. You one of those? He was waiting for this moment. I've been waiting. For he was you one of those? For this fuck moment. you, pussy! You like you one of those? <laughs> you one of those on the game? With the headset and shit. With the headset, you one of those? No, no, no. I mean, is there racial slurs Depends. in the chat room? <laughs> <laughs> so much shit. That's bro. one of my favorite pastimes. What? Low key. To watch the homies play Call of Duty and just hear the banter. <laughs> But like that shit get crazy. <laughs> that get crazy. <laughs> shit. It's really funny. Just sometimes. Pierre. Yeah. We don't gotta go. Just can you stop doubting me, please? Bro, that's never gonna happen. I, I doubt you to motivate you. Pierre was one of those. I knew he was gonna to say motivate. some shit like that. Oh, yeah, that's that bullshit. Like it's that competition that pushes you, bro. <laughs> Just know. Pierre subscribes to if I haven't seen you do it, you cannot do <laughs> it, it. It never happened. And you're not the only uh, person on this earth that does that. There's a, there's a few people like that. They gotta see you do we, it. So we play. Say. We play Madden. Okay. Uh oh. He be cooking two, two football obsessed men playing Madden. You be cooking him on, on Madden. You gotta, you gotta explain it properly. Him. Explain it properly. Yo, P, what's up, bro? I, yo, I, Ex- I was, you, you I, was up, I was up two TDs. Right, he was never up. I was up, bro. Okay, You're, keep going. Delirious. Oh no, was he was. Up. He was up. The okay, first game. okay. I was up. We played two games, right? We played two. <laughs> Watched him the first game. I was you like, didn't win. Oh yes. The Not first involved. time, all right, listen, oh, the first time we ever played two years ago, he did beat me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He beat okay, me. Okay, 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 okay. And Madden, like, 2020, he beat me. He did. <laughs> he hate, that was hate. No, that's I remember. <laughs> no, it, was, it was the current year at the time. It was the current yeah, year. Yeah, that, that's when we, yeah, <laughs> oh, 2020. Right, right, yeah. And then, like, this time around, what was it, a few weeks ago, a couple months ago? Ooh, I lost. A few weeks ago. <laughs> exactly. He didn't just oh, lose. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. Well, listen. Anyway. But that's my brother. I want this combative <laughs> energy to stay here because we're going to do a lot of that this episode. Yeah. People have not stopped being competitive. In music, yeah. in the world, in life, you feel me? I love it. I love it too. Wait, wait, wait. I, have, I have to say please, something. Before, please. that was an amazing transition, but I had to interrupt. Because <laughs> I need to give an answer of like what I judge women on because I don't want uh, people to think like, oh my God, you're being so fake. You don't want to say anything. <laughs> I, but I just thought of it right now. I yeah. don't like when like, okay, I, I support if you have like a sugar daddy. I support men oh, yeah. sending you money. Hey, come in. I, I support oh, all yeah. that. Like women, we deserve, hey, you know, to be compensated. Like we do so much, yeah. so I don't leave mind, love. I don't mind men like funding your lifestyle. I don't judge that, but I just I be judging a little bit when they be like fiending for it, like <laughs> and but when they judge men for not having money, but like the woman also doesn't have money. So I'm like, girl, got like, you. You like, gotta figure out, figure out your situation yourself. Like, stop begging for money. Like, right. damn, you gotta have it. To that at least. I be okay. A little bit, I be like. <laughs> Let's get our priorities in order. You know what I'm saying? So you be judging sugar babies. I, I the first sentence I said was, I don't mind if you have a sugar daddy. But she, sh- a good sugar baby is just chilling, yeah. being pretty, accepting the money. Yeah. But I'm saying when you be fiending for the money and yeah. just kind of like, 
like I don't know, just that energy. Right. I'd be like, so girl, saying, we have to right. like heal within. Yeah. We yeah. can make our own money. Like I don't know, just that certain <laughs> energy it, when they be begging for the money. No, I just right. so you basically saying, I want I want better for her. They should, you basically saying they should know their role. Uh, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> I see what you're saying. But though. I guess like it's different when like things are just given to you and you're playing your part as opposed to nah i need a 50 year old like not being self-aware <laughs> not being self-aware in terms of finances and begging for money got you but yeah. you know i'm not judging if you're broke i'm not judging you i've i've been broke many times in my life so many times i'm not judging broke bitches not but no just more, the energy right? Hmm? Not mm? no more Can't relate. Mm? Can't yeah. relate. No, I'm not. I'm not. Upgraded. She upgraded. I'm not, I'm not broke right now. <laughs> I'm not broke. I'm not broke. Let me get that out of the way real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humble queen. brag. Humble brag. Humble brag. I love that. I love that. I love that. Alex, where are you taking us? Uh, man, it's a lot going on. I want to start here. I did not have academics turning the funk flex on my 2024 <laughs> bingo card. And I'm not mad at it either. I guess we probably should have seen that. Honestly, it's not too far off. Like, it's not. It makes it sense. Gonna, right? It was like, going to happen. Radio has naturally become more antiquated over the years. Streaming is super popular. Oh good God. word. Uh, right? such, such good, good vocabulary word. this episode. We're trying, Damn, Antiquated. Damn. Hello, hello. And then Sayon said, usurp. Yeah, that was good. I like that one. <laughs> Might use that this week. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> For something else though. What the fuck oh was that God. sound in my... What the I fuck bleep was it. you doing? What? I bleeping my foot. <laughs> but why you? But what made you want to do that? When I heard what that made you word, that? when I heard that, yeah, when I heard that word, <laughs> that's what my brain did. Uh, anyway, moving on, guys. Let's <laughs> okay. stay focused, man. Oh, yeah, let's stay focused. Hey, yo, I definitely probably should have seen uh, academics turn into a funk flex or something like that. That's dope. But uh, last time we were here, we got into, of course, the whole Drake Kendrick Lamar discourse, and we're gonna get to that as well today because more has happened and more, more has, has transpired. Facts. But one thing I was tight that we really didn't get into enough was the exchange between Quavo and Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the time of our last recording, it just started. Like, it just started, yeah. right? Quavo put out the first diss track. It was called Tender. You know, he's screaming. He's, well, he's screaming on the hook. Play it if you want to. And um, since that time, Chris Brown has responded. Shout out to Chris Brown. Nah, no funny shit, man. Uh, we got to start picking sides on beef. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I love what you how said? like stern Savon said. He's like, guys, we have to fucking pick right now. <laughs> no, we gotta like. <laughs> what you said? No one is leaving the studio. This shit, bro. Why like, though? Because we don't need um, to. We can't just always be fans. Yeah. What you mean? We're a fan first. We're, We're fans first. Just gang, nigga. Oh, Stan. Yeah, you just gotta <laughs> rob no, who you rob no. with. Like, that nigga, them niggas don't know me. I'm not gonna lie. To you. <laughs> them so niggas I know don't gonna play this shit. Them niggas don't know me. But I know me. <laughs> yeah. So if I knew who I wanted to ride with, I'm fucking fuck with that nigga. But like, this nigga. why do you? Why would you ride for Chris Brown? Like he doesn't like. No, no, I'm not gonna ride nah, for he's Chris saying Brown. In general. But what I'm saying is, yeah, it's in general. You ever heard some shit that made you want to crash out? No, for you, sure. When yeah. the last time you crashed? Like, <laughs> nope. Not oh, me. it's been a while for me. I, I keep it tucked very How well. About these you, days. It's been a while, years actually. So By crash out, you mean like. <laughs> Just like, do some like, shit out of it. character Crash that you up. know is like, damn. It's been a while. If there was a camera on me right now, <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. No. How many times a year? A year is crazy. <laughs> Come on. Be when the last time you crashed out, we know you remember. It, I do it twice a year. <laughs> <laughs> now what? What was the last time? <laughs> During the mixer? That's one. <laughs> no, last year I might have did about four. Um, <laughs> nigga doubled up. <laughs> The last time I crashed out was last year. For sure. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's some <laughs> things and there's some people yeah. who just trigger that where it's like, oh, I just want to give no fucks. True. Y'all don't ever have those moments. It can't just be me. No, I have the moments. It's just, uh, it's fucked up. I hate being so mature these days. <laughs> no, yeah, in a bad it's way. It's fucked up. Because I'm just... still immature because I like to be jokey, jokey and laughy, laughy. But that's not but immature for me, though. yeah, like crashing out on you means I'm... <laughs> It's gonna go places like yeah, somebody, I'm just like losing somebody, all responsibility. Somebody yeah. might get arrested now. You feel me? Like I go all the way over there. So it's like since I can't go all the way over there, but sometimes you know that's fun. Okay. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> but not getting caught. Nah, never to get yeah. caught. Or yeah. just like in your never own privacy. Yeah, you just like, oh shit, I should never did that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Chris Brown's energy does. <laughs> and, He's like, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this is why I asked this. <laughs> so I know, Alice, you got the song. I do. Chris Brown, Quavo, they going at it. I always tell people, and, and the rule of thumb for men in general, if two men have a problem, it's always over two things. Reggie, I feel like by now, you being around Alex and myself, you know what those two things are. Maybe you knew it before us, but mm -hmm. the theme of this podcast, what are the two things that men always crash out on? It's over? pussy and money. Pussy and money. 
Yeah. Or Madden. When- <laughs> or Madden in this oh, case, Madden. right? <laughs> That's an alternative option. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, Wait, what? Hmm? You might want to believe that. Actually. Yeah, what the fuck, Sable? I just heard <laughs> yo. what you said, bro. What the fuck? That was over 2K or something, nigga. You just got me tight. <laughs> nah, yo, bleep that for real. He just got me. We'll just bleep him right, Anyway, back to Chris Brown. <laughs> what he said? This what he did. This nigga. This is Weakest Link by Chris Brown. His response to Quavo's tender. I want to stop real quick. Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, my fault. My fault. Because I just talked the over. The breakdown started already. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it get critical when it comes to beef, right, Simon? It get, it get critical. Um, I spoke over how the, the song just started. And in this uh, song, Chris Brown is insinuating that Quavo left a voicemail cop in a plea. Like, yo, mm-hmm. I don't want no problems with you, Chris. I don't want no problems with you, Chris. Um, the AI thing fucking my head up. Wait, is it real? Or? I don't know. Oh, okay, that's I thought I you were about to confirm. Yeah, that's why I don't know. But Damn. that is how he started it. And then he goes. Mm. This is how you know a nigga ready to kill somebody. <laughs> when he start repeating himself. <laughs> Nah. Okay. Nigga. <laughs> you definitely gave a fuck, Chris. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> okay, nah, saying, yeah. saying Chris, Chris didn't give a man. fuck about Karuchi is, is the <laughs> furthest def- lie. Chris, we seen the I'm photo of you in that red jacket. I'm just following her. Just, you posted on the street with your hands crossed. She walking away from you. They we have s- video of it too. We, we seen it, okay? <laughs> right. He don't care though. Oh, he I absolutely don't think he cares. cares. For sure. But Continue. he then says... Saweetie reference. I just want to highlight how talented he is. Oh shit, that was a crazy way to end. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's wild. That's a yeah, crazy yeah. end. Yeah, um, my fault. Say, my distracted. What you just <laughs> say? Like, yeah, I was like, oh shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie they to you, bro. The thing, the, the, the thing about this beat, <laughs> right? Bugging just now. And I think I feel like we gotta like really take a side on at least this one, right? No, for real, just this one because okay, the other one I understand. Uh, but on this, because I, I feel like it has the highest probability of turning into real life. <laughs> Which is why we shouldn't be egging this on, but we could talk about it. Nah, sometimes it's cool. Okay, okay, say whatever we're gonna say. You, who do you think will win? The rap battle, a uh, fight, a fight, a fight. A fight. Probably Chris Brown, probably right? Chris Brown, right? Yeah. Probably Chris. Yeah, I think everybody will probably put their money on on, but, on on Chris. But I think that's why this beef is so interesting because out of everybody who's going at it, yeah. we got Kanye, we got Rick Ross, we got Drake, we got Kendrick, we got Metro Boomin, we got we we have all of these names, players, faces, characters, whatever artists, whatever you want to call it, all of them, and nobody has ever felt J Cole. Shout out to J Cole apologizing. See, he's I, sitting peaceful in wait, his home. Wait, hold on. I said that last week, and you said fucking apology. No. <laughs> I was, what, what is, am I in the Matrix? No, 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 you're not. I didn't really mean that. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. Not, not, ass, bro. Not, I just, not you apologizing about the nah, apology yeah, yeah, yeah. about the apology. I, just, I wanted you to see how stupid you look when you apologize and then say, <laughs> my bad, dog. So, J. Cole, all these other people, yeah. it never felt like it's going to get violent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like but with this? Quavo and Chris Brown, yeah, not only do I think it could or would, but I feel like it has the highest probability because... They run in similar circles. They're mm-hmm. in a similar age. Um, we seen them seated in Paris right next to each other at an event, right? right? Like, yeah. it's no coincidence when you're in that proximity of, of, of people, of peers. I think it's so fly that they decided to keep it P at that moment at the fashion show and yeah. then respond to where they're doing now. Mm-hmm. You could have crashed out. <laughs> well, I think if these diss songs would have happened and then they would have been seated next to each other, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, like, it just would have been you know, a way different story. That so, hate was already seeking in for I, both of them. I think for that reason alone, I have to pick a side. 
and the R and B and me. No, I have to. Bro. No, you don't. You can't just always I, be I think you should, man, bro. I like, think you, come on, son. But wait, but wait. So, oh, so you don't give a fuck about the raps? Nah, you just you give a fuck about the scenario. From these two, I don't care about like, the raps. He's just like who he likes better. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is here. Chris Brown, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, but, like, he's like, yeah. <laughs> I do like, I do like how this Quavo and Chris Brown one. It is like super, super, super direct. Like yeah, it is. He, yeah, they yeah, say yeah, each other's names in the song. Yeah. No fucking like quadruple, triple entendres. They're like, yo, you're, you're a bitch. Like <laughs> you a bitch. You a hoe. And I fucked your girl. <laughs> and you're the weakest Migo. Like and, and then we're just like, okay, okay. Like that's what he meant. Like yeah, that is. The it is kind of different hearing like a diss track like this. Uh, versus like everything that we've been here for the past like three weeks. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they I think see. they really dislike each other. Yeah, it's been brewing for a few years. Reggie, you know the backstory about that? It's it's very long, really? but um, it started uh, twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. Uh, Chris Brown and Offset were going back and forth on social media. I'll, I'll speed through it, but you know they got into like encounters on the BT Awards, shit like that. A bunch of shit like that um, happened, and it, it was a lot of stuff where like they were shading each other. He sent flowers to like Cardi B, that all this stuff. It's been very disrespectful for years. Like them not liking each other is no secret. Wow. So the women was actually so even like both of them they play ball basketball. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Chris Brown lives in LA. A lot of the basketball tournaments are held in LA. Um, I know Quavo and Chris Brown, they've been in certain uh, tournaments together, certain celebrity games. Yeah, yeah. So again, the proximity that they're in with each other wow. is very, very close. I think a lot of the music, I think they're around the same age. They probably have a lot of the same friends. Like This is a lot closer to seeing each other on site compared to maybe a Drake and a Kendrick. Drake, or Kendrick at least, he doesn't leave his house. Right, we don't see Kendrick out. Kendrick's not doing the not charity Ian basketball. Is he? Ian Brooklyn doing push ups, yeah, <laughs> he's doing blurpees in the park. I'm dead ass. They got a video with a nigga. That's why the nigga that named was, him push ups. That was mad long. No, no, I'm dead ass. If you don't know, I recently follow, I follow Kendrick's Finster. He's moved to Brooklyn. Wait, he has a fence? That's yeah. why. That's why Drake was like, "I know you in you in uh, New Please York writing rap, me. struggling writing rap." But regardless, I just know Chris Brown and Quavo. There's a high probability of them actually being around each other again. and some shit going down. And I understand crash out language. <laughs> we know and crash out temperament. <laughs> like what's about to happen? If Chris Brown sees him, <laughs> it's done. They're gonna it's fight. Old. They're like, gonna it's fight. Just, it's just gonna happen. But I do think it's dope that they they they're leaving it in art. Yeah. And I also mm-hmm. want to applaud Quavo because I think his response was that. actually I think Pretty it was good. dope. I think it was good. Yeah. I think a lot of the internet is good. hating. I'm glad you said that before I'm about to play it real quick. I think this is one of those moments where we're seeing not um not a particular person weaponizing their fan base, but a bigger fan base showing out for their artists. Because I see a lot of, yo, that shit was shitty. That shit was poo Quavo. You should have cut that at home. I didn't hate it the way everybody else hated it. I don't hate it at all. But I do think there are more Chris Brown fans than Quavo fans. Wait, hold on. So yeah. before we move on to, are we going to, are we about to move I'm on listening. to Quavo? No, no. Do what you need to do. So I'm just yeah. only mentioning this because we played this part of Chris Brown's song. So we should like talk about the lyrics. But we skipped over the part where he was like, you fuck my ex hoe, that's cool. I don't give a fuck. He's talking about Quavo allegedly messing with Karuchi. I don't fucking know. Right. And then he said, because I fucked your ex while you're still with her, bitch, I'm up. So he so Chris Brown is saying that he fucked with Saweetie while Saweetie was dating Quavo. That's pain. And then Saweetie pain. somehow fucking nah, 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 This nah. is why <laughs> trust niggas. Ladies, I don't trust, bitch. This is why we should keep you it classy and not say shit. Yeah, because then Saweetie got mad that she kept getting mentioned both in both songs. Yeah. And then she responded by posting a DM from Quavo that she didn't open. But now everybody's clowning her because that's corny. Don't you hate that? Don't the, you hate when they post a screenshot of the DM? The screenshot that she posted. That was sacred conversation between the two of us. It wasn't sacred because she never responded. Yeah. You don't know that. Well, you know they got a, the feature allegedly. now where yeah, yeah. you can unread a message yeah. and that blue little circle come right she back didn't up. Respond. Yeah, yeah. I never did that. You never did that, but I'm saying they got the option. They got the feature. She could have. He, I think. I think what Alex is saying. She could have read it and then just put it back to not read. Mm-hmm. Not. And it looked like he was responding to something. Yeah. Like I understand <laughs> each and every day why more men that I meet be like, "Yo, I just want to be single and I'm good." What kind like, of niggas no, you mean? Like, what? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't, know I don't support this. Wait, find, a be- find a beautiful, loyal what? queen. Uh, what's, going on? what's wrong with that? What's wrong with just wanting just to be asexual? Single? Just wanting to be asexual for no, the rest of your life? Because do you really want to be asexual, though? Or are you just hurt? Is that way? Uh, yeah. So not... Help me out. And this yeah, is a real I'm question. Listening. No, I'm listening. Yeah. So not wanting to be with somebody... Like, Forever? Yeah, it makes you asexual? If you're not... If you're never going to be attracted to I mean, anybody you, ever, 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 that's asexual. Not attracted. 
just oh, okay, simply okay. not being in a relationship. Oh, yeah, that's oh, okay. not, that's, that's, that's different. Okay, yeah. That's different. Yeah. That's like, I know people who are obviously is. attracted to women, yeah. but mm-hmm. they just don't want to be in a relationship. Or you can do what Maya did she, and marry, marry yourself. Or Tracy Ellis Ross. Did she, Wait, Tracy, Tracy, did, she, did she marry herself? No, no, she's just like forever single. She's like, I'm good. Oh, well, my but dad has when, married herself. Okay, Those that's are what people you're saying. I'm talking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just somebody I think like, I'm when it comes cool, from bro. a genuine place, like, you know what? I, don't, I really don't need anybody. I'm happy. Then I support it. Of course, everyone's different. But mm-hmm. if you're like, I'm going to be single forever just because you're deep down her, I'm like, no, we should heal. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at that. No, yeah. I'm just saying I understand because there's a lot of embarrassment that comes with opening your heart yeah. and just being whatever Bu- you want to call it buying pussy for the rest of your life don't sound fly you don't gotta buy pussy though Where? but what if shorty... but they still want pussy though but you can still be a bachelor or a whore oh and then... I don't know if that's synonymous <laughs> Nah, no, no, why is it if it's a woman's wait, a whore? Huh? I know that's why. I, that's why I had to check myself. Wait, hold up. I can't. Fuck a lady though. pimp. We'll say lady pimp. Like I don't think I don't know if I could be in my forties and fifties and not actually want to be in a relationship. No, I'm with you. No, I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying you. I'm, talk- I'm not. That. No, I'm not saying like, that. Yeah, he's just like thinking out loud. I, yeah, I'm thinking out loud. Yeah. One day, want to find somebody, plant a seed in that person. No, and yeah, grow. this has nothing to do with you. Yeah. I'm just speaking from a different perspective. Right. The perspective of hey, I'm happy just being single. For mm-hmm. the rest of my life, I do think that is this because I, do. yeah. I don't want to, or I want to avoid certain feelings, which is pain, which is embarrassment, which is heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Man, uh, that's hey, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. You mean it? You mean always it, being sexist, right? You, you mean to tell me that would deter you from wanting? So let me, me? Ask you this. no. What What about your desire for somebody else? Would that counteract or that doesn't diminish? Than? That's why I right? said you always want someone. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't diminish. That's why your reason has to be no. I'm only I want to be single because I'm already so happy. But with, no, no. Yeah. But if your reason is I don't want to, I don't want to deal with heartbreak. I don't want to be embarrassed. That is not good of enough of a reason to stay away from love forever. Like that's not gonna last. Okay. You're gonna be sad inside. Even if like somebody I allegedly know had relations with somebody I had right, and this uh, I'm referring to uh, the Quavo and Chris Brown thing. Wait, what do you mean? Meaning like, uh, get past your hurt, right? Get through mm-hmm. your hurt. Like if a lot of men out there probably got cheated on. Uh-huh. And they're just they just never want to go down that lane again. They never want to try again. Uh-huh. You're saying that nah, you there's there's an opportunity. No, no, no. no. I, if your yeah. reasoning is like I never want to get cheated on again, yeah. you're eventually gonna have to heal from that and find somebody. Right. Sure. Like eventually, because you're always gonna be like that part of you is always gonna be not satisfied. Not necessarily, well, but continue. Are you? Sure? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I hope Quavo and Chris Brown don't heal though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> they go Quavo response <laughs> right here. Pussy this is called over hoes and bitches. Shout about your bae. Boy, you pussy. Little bitch come dance battle with my Drake. You been fucked your bag up when you punch re in the face. Tell my, oh my fashion. God. Oh my God. Real quick. Hey, nothing, nothing is off the table and, and, and beef, right? Well, in the last track that you played, we didn't get to like the real, real, yeah. real disrespectful part. Oh, we stopped it. When, Should we go back real quick? We we don't have to. We can just summarize it since you already got okay. that pulled up. Okay, I okay. have the lyrics pulled up right where he stopped, and okay. he we stopped. Uh, Pull it up, Reg. S- stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches in the elevator. Now, what Chris Brown said meant by that was because everybody always brings up how Chris be like, you know, has a history of violence. So that he shot at Quavo was like, yo, we saw the video of you and Saweetie fighting in the elevator. That's what he meant by oh, that. Oh, I forgot about that, actually. Okay. But then, I mean, uh, not only that part, but he also mentioned takeoff. Oh, yes. I Chris Brown also said that out of the Migos, Takeoff was the best one. And as we all probably know, yeah, Takeoff is no longer with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you bring up somebody who's no longer here, who's a family member of the person you're dissing, yeah. regardless of how you put them in a good light, you may be giving them a backhanded compliment or not. It's one of those things where it's like, all right, you mentioned the dead. You cross a line. You also put the domestic violence highlight back on me when. Yeah. So there's two 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 ways to kind of look at this. He, thing. I'm just gonna read the exactly. RP takeoff. This is Chris Brown. RP takeoff. He the only real one that got that true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody wished it was you instead. Some hot words yeah, right that's there. Crazy. Yeah, so he didn't like. Words. He didn't those are crash say words. something yeah, to sure. take off directly, but he keeps he keeps mentioning Takeoff's name, which is like well, crazy, bro. Well, he he got what he wanted because Quavo put Takeoff on a response. And it was kind of good to hear some new Takeoff, even if it was in the midst of all of this nonsense. It ain't nothing but a fade. You know you lost a Frank. Niggas ran in your house, tied up your aunt cause you ain't pay. This bullet got your name. Don't ever bring up take pussy. What is whack about you? Know, happy, y'all niggas, some hoes, I think this is a hard song. He said Frank Ocean beat Chris up, but he didn't. So, now I know, but you're supposed to lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I just think it's a good song. 
It reminded me of 2014. This just made me remember how talented and how missed Takeoff is. And also how innovative he was. Yeah. Like, this shit brought me back to my college dorm room in 2014. Mm. When I first heard of the Migos, when this flow got introduced to rap. Migo! Like, this is, I don't know what it is about this song in particular. Obviously, mm. they put out mad songs, music since then. But in 2014, I remember hearing them, and this is before anybody could identify which Migo was which. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Before we put the face on the names was just and like, shit. All right, yeah. The Migos is the Migo. I don't know who's <laughs> rapping where, yeah. but it was honestly Takeoff who was carrying these mm -hmm. niggas. He just wasn't the most marketable. Mm -hmm. And y'all a little slow. They the Migos, not a Migo. But all right, <laughs> who my said fault. Them? Nah, just the people I heard, that didn't I heard, know. I heard that. No, not no, you. No, no, just no. the people back in the day that didn't right, know yeah, it was three day. people or one person. Oh, got it. Yeah, got it, keep going. I'm sorry. I see what you're saying, Simon, because in this song, it's the re repetition that Takeoff does. Yeah. And then back then during those songs, Takeoff was doing that a lot in the hook. Facts. So that's why we're like thinking about that right yeah, now. I feel flow like. too. That flow is untouchable. So, so I miss that. Yeah. It, it, it just it brought me back to like 2014. Um, and it also made me like miss Takeoff. And, and it also reminded me like, and I hate to be this guy, but you almost become desensitized to certain things and artists and people just dying. Or Unfortunately. Not just dying, but being killed. Yeah. So like, I don't wake up every day and think about everybody who's been killed in entertainment. Unfor like, you know what I'm saying? Rest like in peace. Like just being honest, yeah. But just being honest. So when I do hear a new takeoff verse, it reminds me like, holy shit, he's no longer with us. Well, we aren't going to get anything new from him, essentially. Mm -hmm. He's not going to create any new material. Exactly. And so when I hear him in a new light, it just made me think like, wait, we are taking people in entertainment and life for granted. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. You folks, know what I'm saying? Folks were upset that uh, Quavo added... And I mean, I guess inserted takeoff into this beef. Mm -hmm. How do y'all feel about it? And, and, and beef was that a, is that against the rules? I don't think. I it think is. like Quavo yeah. would know takeoff like better than anybody anybody would right. probably on this earth. They're the closest ever. So if he did that, he wouldn't do anything to respect takeoff. So he probably knew like, yo, takeoff would want me to do. Like I feel like takeoff would low key want me to release this shit right. I, I'm, I don't I don't see why Quavo would ever do that without knowing like his intent. To be I honest, I don't know. I, I think I felt like the first thing I thought about was how does Offset feel? I mean, respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> me, I me. mean, I mean, respect. No, I know, Offset. but respectfully, bro, it was Neff and Few. I'm, did I say no? Unk and Few. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I just divided Neff Few. <laughs> that was like <laughs> hip and hop. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest, yeah, it was Unk and Few. It was. And Offset, you know, was with his wife. Mm. He was figuring out his career. So in this instance, I'm like, dog, you're going to have to play the background. They probably did a lot of music together in the yeah, absence yeah, of Offset. Yeah. No, I, I get yeah. that. I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel You're about him. You're just thinking of Offset? I'm, yeah. I'm happy the song was good. Yeah. I'm happy he responded. Like Reggie said, I'm, I'm oh. glad that it was direct. We got to get into the uh, song. We can play a little bit. I want Quavo to start going. You still fucked up by Karuchi. You tried to be a Rihanna, but Usher wouldn't let you do it. The cocaine got him your honor. Bipolar disorder, no wonder. You was the greatest nigga, you fumble. Going outside, I'm watching you crumble. Why they got Quavo out here going back and forth with a singer that turned to a junkie? Never got light skin versus brown skin, nigga finna divide the country. Nigga, you ain't been in the trenches. We step in the yard, you know how that ended. Won't smoke with me. OHB mean fighting over hoes and bitches. OHB is the name of Chris Brown's group. So, if you guys don't know oh that. God. He was like, yeah. we stomped the yard. You know how that ended? Stomp. <laughs> stomp. <laughs> the ad was, stomp. stomp. That's what I, I think this is just bringing out Quavo's mute. Like, thank you for like, like, making a good song that I can song. listen to from you, my nigga. Like, you should thank Chris Brown the same way I feel Tender like. Tender was good, too. Who? Tender. The first one he released. It was first? Right. It was yeah. cool. It yeah. was cool. Okay. Okay. It you was like cool. the takeoff verse on him? I, I like the takeoff, yeah. and I, I, I like everything about yeah. the song. Like, yeah. it's a, it's, it just sounds good. And niggas are dissing each other. They're direct. Like, thank you. Thank you, bro. Like Reggie said, I don't got to fucking go on genius. I got so much in my life to do. I just want to know who you're dissing. Mm -hmm. nah, like, you don't, don't want to decode. I don't want to decode who's dissing who. Like, yeah. being in Tokyo and Japan, 
I don't want to have yeah. to go find a, <laughs> a fucking girl on Instagram named Japan <laughs> to figure out who is nah, who her name was like and Tokyo how she's affiliated. Yeah, it was Tokyo something. Though. Yeah, Tokyo was the assistant. Like, I don't need to know about future, that shit. So I'm like, just happy that niggas are crap. Like, this is a good crash out. <laughs> hey, you no, no, bring it up. Nah, because Meek Mill was crashing out a few weeks ago. He was. On I'm Twitter. not a fan of that. Like, that's a different type of crash out. Uh-huh. He, but what? He was just. Tra- nah. He was trying. That was a trying to get better crash out. Nah, no. Nah. That, a- he was a crash on nobody but specifically. He was, he was just like talking in circles on Twitter. Like yeah. that, that didn't go anywhere. This at least we got two good songs. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I like the Meek Mill crashing out because those random <laughs> those content. random fleeting thoughts yeah. is really how he feels. <laughs> Like and in these exchanges, we're gonna get some lies, right? Like how you said earlier. Yeah. yeah. But when Meek going on Twitter, that's, that's just real, how he really feels. His, he just, his real thoughts. This is his real <laughs> thoughts. He's just getting it off. That's I don't, I don't know. I, I just yeah. I, I appreciate this. This is yeah. good. Again, we hope as fans that nobody gets hurt. Obviously, mm-hmm. and I'm, let me real. not even say that. I don't mind if a nigga get hurt. I don't. Oh want my god! To no, not. listen. I don't nah. want a nigga to die. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't god. mind a fight. I don't mind a fight. Yeah. A Growing little, up a is, fight. Yeah, like fighting, that's a part of life. Like it's men, boys, teenagers, like you grow up, you fight, you get in the shit. Yeah. It happens. Like if you really have a problem, and honestly, I think we need to encourage fighting a lot more. <laughs> as as opposed to the guns. As opposed to the guns, I hate what you're saying. Opposed to like shooting each other. For Why sure. can't we all just get along? Because that's not life. That'd be hard. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I would like that. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry to break it to you. <laughs> like that's just not life. So I promote these yeah. guys if they see each other. I, I would like just, all right, cool, fight, get it over Instead with. Instead of shooting. Somebody wins, somebody loses. Y'all go home, y'all continue your careers. Everybody's already rich. I feel like yeah. there's been a ton of people who have reiterated like, yo, these men are all rich already. Like, why are they beefing? Whatever. They don't like each other. And that's cool. It doesn't matter how much money I have in my pocket. There's still going to be a select few of niggas that I don't give a fuck about. I hear you. That's a fact. So That's a fact. the money naturally, doesn't. Naturally. Yeah, the money doesn't matter mm-hmm. uh, of how I feel towards you, mm-hmm. but I don't wish death. Right? Like I don't want this to end in death. Like, it's just like I, just have, fight, I just have a problem with you. Like, y'all fuck with each other. Go do what y'all got to do. Handle that. Yeah. But it's just like we don't got to get it to like death. That's it. Because there are some rap beefs that have exactly ended in death. Exactly. And they're exactly. still concurrent mm-hmm. with the deaths. But yeah. But like I said, y'all still didn't pick a side. I'm not picking a side. Come on. <laughs> you know me for like over three years by now. What, ah. what do you think I'm going to say? <laughs> oh my God. This nigga, this yes, nigga. yes, I will you always You want us to get choosy here? Like, Nigga's not choosy. No. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all going to pick a side. Uh, I pick Saweetie. <laughs> That's the wrong side to be. <laughs> I, okay. I pick takeoff and rap. <laughs> He mad at He's like, guys, let's <laughs> let's be team. Bre- <laughs> let's be team breezy. Yo, I really don't have a horse in a race. Nah, Real shit. You. you said that last week. I don't. And that was cap. Yo, what's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? Before we get back into the episode, I want to make sure we give a special shout out to the good folks over at Underdog Fantasy. Yes, we love our friends at Underdog Fantasy because they have a special little promo for you guys. They will give you a deposit matchup of up to $100, but you have to use our code Need to Know. So you could put in $5, they'll match up $5. You could put $100, they'll match up $100 only if you use our promo code Need to Know. Exactly. So press pause right now, download the Underdog Fantasy app. And use promo code need to know for a deposit match of up to hundred dollars. Come on, y'all, let's get it. No, I really don't. No, but I listen back to that. Say, Vaughn, you told me for the last three to four years that I'm a Drake stand. Mm-hmm. Please tell me how I became into a Kendrick Lamar stand overnight. I'll just, wait. Just listen to yourself. But you're not answering my question. Did you if listen you to yourself? You told me for the last <laughs> three. You... Yeah, I watched the whole episode. No, I mean, you don't. Say, Vaughn, I watch every episode. Okay. <laughs> I told you that before we started. And how'd you feel about you? I felt that everybody had an opinion. And this is a podcast, so if everybody agrees, nah, he's it's talking, kind of, he's talking it's about kind of, you, you in particular. Yeah, he's, no, that's he's what getting I'm, there. But I'm there. getting there. Okay. Yeah, like you obviously said Drake does everything well in the world. Salute. Mm-hmm. We love Drake on the podcast. <laughs> we, I think his cosmetic <laughs> surgery could have been a little better. Ah, uh, man, salute. <laughs> I think he could have had better abs. <laughs> I don't think Reggie chose a side in that. I said, I said the Drake this was ten out of ten. I yeah. came in here ready I to said, fucking. But then right. once you, once I heard your side, I was like, ah, he could have okay. gone a little harder. And like I that. said Drake rapped well. Mm-hmm. I if you watch that, you, you do remember me saying that, right? All right, cool. So there's no way I'm picking a side. My side is hip hop. You told me for the last three to four years, oh, this guy loves Drake. This guy, like, what do you love Drake? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So, how did I pick a side? But I think we <laughs> we change. We change depending on the fight. 
right? Mm-hmm. We changed the bit on because the 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 last fight it's that Drake podcast, had, though, yeah. it was Pusha T versus Drake. That was yeah. the last fight, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I was Push. <laughs> you were not Push. You were Saint Boy. No, I'm saying I was going for Push, <laughs> nigga. Like I'm always me, but I was root like I, not, the not horse in my race. Yeah. at that time was Pusha T, push. yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, but we do a podcast. So now <laughs> this is a new fight. Yeah. Drake is the common denominator in this fight, right? And he has a new opponent. I'm on the side of Drake. But see, this is my thing today. If you hear my remarks today on like the new stuff, I'm like, wait, let me just make sure. We, we, yeah, cue up the new stuff. Let me just let so me anybody just make sure. again by this point, you should know. If you don't know, there's been a, a, a Drake. I, I don't even know he leaked it, so it's not even a leak, a release. A release um, on his Instagram. It's just not page. on DSPs or streaming or anything. But Drake has doubled down on the Kendrick Lamar beef. Mm-hmm. Okay, just like I said, he should. Eventually, he did it. He didn't do way. it. He didn't do it both at the same time, but eventually, he did it. Just like I said, he should. <laughs> it's funny like, niggas was in the comments killing me right it's funny how they man came back right and you know what's real funny about that shit I like this one the AI one yeah it was it was it was it was clever it, it's I, called it was Telemade clever. the Telemade Freestyle the Telemade Freestyle yeah you Telemade. want me to play it first and then t- go into my comments Telemade Freestyle another diss at Kendrick um, before we even play it sure I know you said you like it Reggie did you like it uh I like the first this song better. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I like this one better than the first this song. Hmm, damn, we just can't fucking agree on anything, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> now, initially, Thank God it's a podcast. Upon though. first listen, I was kind of confused until Drake came in on the third verse. But yeah, overall, I think it was it was clever. I wouldn't have done it, but it was clever. I yeah, I like this one. I wouldn't say way more than the first one, but okay, n- now you're playing four. It got it got more of what you wanted out of this one. Now, and not me personally, because again, it's never with me. I know you picking sides. It's more so with your opponent, right? And what I was saying last week it was like, it's different strokes for different folks, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Like the back to back energy, yeah. even the energy he had on the first one. I love all that green light shit that you did for the rest of the click and for the rest of the people you're supposed to shoot at. But again, back to different strokes for different folks. The four D chess thinking on another level, like. The narrative POV was amazing. Let me tell you why it's amazing. We've seen Kenny do it in the heart uh, part five, part right? Four. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, oh. part, was it four? Or five? There's five? It's oh. five. I think it was five. Okay. Wait, that, wait, was, wait. that was the last one with the deep fake, right? He had five? Yeah. Nobody listens to I don't know, shit. Alex. <laughs> I mean, salute to you. I, could I, be I don't, wrong. I don't no. know if you want me to feel slighted. No. 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 They're going to tell you in the comments if you heard it or I not. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Just I'm just telling you what's out. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that nigga get choosy early. Asked, <laughs> anyway, in the heartbreak part four or five or whatever, we saw the deep fake. We saw okay. that we saw we saw Kendrick manipulate narrative rap. Mm-hmm. Good. Now it's Drake. I think that's how you kind of get at that nigga like all right cool like you like all of that deep fake shit you're doing over there yeah. all right cool i'm gonna talk in the pov of your west coast legends yeah. and, and it reminded me that's of fire mile. to me it definitely reminded me of eight mile yeah when, remember when um slim uh slim shady when uh i forgot eminem M- 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 but i forget his the, I forgot B-Rabbit. Nigga name b rabbit b rabbit yeah. there you go when he was i don't know he was versus was papa doc right <laughs> yeah. was it b rabbit i think yeah, it was, was. B-Rabbit. i think, B-Rabbit. I think B-Rabbit. B-Rabbit. oh no i'm thinking the cheddar bob you think about Cheddar but Bob? It was B Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he was at the end, he was basically dissing himself to where Papa Doc really couldn't say anything else. He froze at the uh, when it was his turn. Do you know Papa Doc was Anthony Mackey? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I found that out late though. I didn't realize. I found that out late. That Papa Doc was Anthony Mackey. Yeah, nah. Did he look really different? <laughs> no, <laughs> Anthony Mackey. I think he has done the best job of just being a chameleon in He's Hollywood. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's in Black Mirror too. He was Tupac. He went from Tupac to Captain America <laughs> to Papa Doc. Like range. He, he does look a little different though range. in the movie. Like way different. He, yeah, he just has a lot of range. He has a lot of range. Speaking yeah. of range. This is the Taylor May freestyle. This is Drake talking like Pac. <laughs> so, and, and I'm going to go back to what I said last week and I'm going to stand on it because a lot of niggas hit me and they didn't like what I said. But I'm going to, like, it just, it, it is what it oh, is. Oh, me either. Now, granted, oh. this is AI. 
this is a voice. This is not actually Tupac. Again, like Alex said, I think what Drake did was super creative, right? He said, you know what? I'm going to take a concept. I'm going to use a tool that's been inserted into this beef. Pause. Because AI... <laughs> has been inserted mm -hmm. into the equation. This is the first time we ever like, saw like, it. I might as well use it to my advantage. I yeah. double down. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to use the tools. I'm going to use whatever I have, um, whether it be to my advantage, disadvantage, however you look at it. He decided, you know what? I'm going to play the AI card, right? Right. He plays play AI. He uses Tupac's voice. There's a second verse where he uses Snoop Dogg's voice. Right. Um, but then there's another version, and I don't know where you want to go with it, Alex. I I'll let you kind of lead this ship. But there's another version where the whole track is just Drake's voice. I thought everybody knew that, though. No, Well, I think at be, some point everybody did. I knew that. Yeah. Eventually. They, Eventually. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be real uh, remedial of him <laughs> to put out some AI shit that he didn't pen. Yeah. Not right now. Nah. It's, the stakes is too high. Too high. Right? Maybe. Yeah. maybe. But again, I think high. it's all creative. And yeah. going back to what I said last week, and I feel like everybody should keep this in perspective because everybody who is involved in this is an artist. Artist is a, 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 a synonym for actor, for performer, right? Like the, the, these guys, it, it doesn't. It's not. It's, it's not what it is that they think it is. Like this is all business. It's big business. There's a lot of money involved. Yeah. Um, it's, it's labels. There's just so much going on. Where it's like, all right, cool. As a fan, we're hype. It's almost it's like a movie. It's literally like a movie. Yeah. They're entertaining us. It's, it's, this is all entertainment, yeah. right? And this yeah. is just another level of that, which I think Drake understands. I think Drake plays into a little bit better than Kendrick Lamar. For sure. I don't think Kendrick cares about it. I don't think right. he uses this to his advantage or disadvantage because mm -hmm. that's just not where he is. Where Drake is a master of the internet, he's also a master of moments, mm -hmm. right? Like Kendrick too. Kendrick is a a master of maybe uh, musical moments, but when it comes to the internet, we've never seen Kendrick engage in oh, this on way. The internet, yeah. We don't know what no. that looks like for him, and it, no. it, he like whatever Drake is doing still isn't enough for him to come out of his character, which is hey guys, I'm mysterious, I'm not gonna respond yet. I'm gonna go at my own pace. You don't know what I'm gonna say. You don't know anything. Right? Also, Drake took three four weeks, right? He well, did. well, he, I mean, listen, he was on tour, coming off a tour. So. And I think Kendrick knew that. That's why he did it like this, I feel like. I can see that, it too. It was a little bit, that was a little bit part of it. Strategic. Yeah. I can see that, too. I don't know. Do you guys think, I don't know what's going to happen now because I don't know if Kendrick is like kind of thinking right now, like, yo, I wonder what Drake knows. Do we think? Uh, I don't know. I think everything is... Uh, well, you think Kendrick's not, not, not scared, I but think, like... I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think he's dumped maybe most of the clip already. I keep hearing a lot of uh, shots about Kendrick's manager from Drake. Mm -hmm. He really don't respect that nigga. <laughs> he called him Chubbs, Blunt Roller. Chubbs is Drake's right hand man. That was um, he said back in the day. Back in the day. I think that was. Uh, I believe. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think he was talking about the weekend's manager. When yeah, he the said weekend. That. Oh, I'm sorry, talking about Cash. Because yeah, 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 yeah. then he referred. He said Abel. Yeah. Oh, well, he, okay, he was okay, talking okay, about. Okay. He was talking about the weekend when he, he mm -hmm. said that in pushups. Makes sense. But Makes sense. Um, from what I do hear about Kendrick's management it, it's not TDE obviously it's not no. top it's, it's completely different but he said your little manager used to be yeah he's talking about Chubb's little yeah. talking about Abel mm -hmm. talking about Abel when he said Abel yeah. that's yeah. the weekend's government name yeah so yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think this was creative. I think it was fun. I think it was. Let's play his verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all Drake, in that um thing we just penned. And when you play it, the content is still a content, but for me, it's just the delivery, it's the voice, it's the tone. I think he did a really good job of capturing the West Coast. This sounds like a Dr. Dre ish. <laughs> we need ya. <laughs> this is Pac flow. Kendrick, we need ya. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a quick question. Hey, Reggie, do uh, that. Uh, <laughs> this is. Oh, go ahead, Reggie. Guess it one more time. No. <laughs> you on the spot, go ahead, Reggie. Uh, Kendrick, we need ya. You're <laughs> <laughs> so mad funny. Question. This is Drake's. This is the third verse. No, this is the second. first. This, this is the first. Second. Yeah, the, the first. intro. So real quick. Oh, oh, first verse on the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, first verse on the so song. So real yeah. quick, um, that's the reverse AI to what Drake put out. 
You mean like what he posted on his IG page? Yeah. Yes, what I'm playing is basically just Drake's whole voice before he put it into the AI machine. No, 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 no. I'm confused. So the original track that Drake put out yeah. was using the AI. But yeah. The, that version is the reverse AI. Yeah. No, but bad. Pierre, That's there, what I'm saying. there has to be a Drake original <laughs> thing that existed. Yeah, like he played for it first. To, for him to put it into yeah. the AI machine. Yeah. No, I, I get that. I, um, yeah. We're splitting hairs, but what I'm saying is... <laughs> That what you we're listening to now isn't it wasn't Drake's initial recording. I don't know that to be true or not. Nah, it's a oh. fact. It's a fact. Oh, you know that you know that for a fact. For a fact. The the guy who I'm reverse listening. AI the um Tupac and um Snoop Dogg put this their voices on the system and then just changed it back to Drake's. Oh, okay. So what he's saying is Drake didn't record it as in like Kendrick, we need you. Like Drake, Drake, we <laughs> Kendrick, we need you. <laughs> Drake recorded it as Drake, normally Drake. Then they put it through and then they put yeah. Pop's accent but, on it. But, and now they turn it back to Drake's. Yeah. Okay, good. This is why we need to get rid of fucking AI hip hop. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. We do it too much. Remember last year? Uh, last year. We remember, do it too much. Remember last week when we said, when Savon, you said, yo, all you really got to know is the cadence. That's it. That Drake actually, you know, figured out the cadence and then he rapped the song. But what we're listening to right now isn't what Drake rapped to initially. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I got it. That's cool. I think uh, it doesn't Nigga, matter. <laughs> Yo, Kendrick, <laughs> just just like either he 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 needs to respond. I I don't know. I feel like he needs I, to respond. I, I want Drake to drop a Kendrick bomb. I feel like that'll be fun for the concert. I, I don't know. I think if it was smart. There is a bomb. That, I don't know from who. From Drake, we don't we don't think so. But I what don't if know. It sound, that's why I, I said it sounds like he's emptying the clip but right now. But I feel like there's a bomb because he's talking nice to the nigga. No, Yo, wasn't I like crash out wasn't niggas, bro. He, wasn't he like, um, this is not all I know. I don't wake the shit. demon up. Whatever he the did fuck. Say he that. Just saying all I know. Why would he say that damn. if he had nothing? Wait, Wait my fault. You can play it through, Alex. I didn't mean to. Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna play it in a second. Yeah. I'm just saying, bro. Like I like when niggas threaten to crash out. Drake told y'all niggas, this ain't all I know. Don't wake the demon up. Like, what you think, Kendrick? know? I, Kendrick knows a lot. There's a lot to know about Drake. <laughs> Kendrick a knows a lot. Know. You know, honestly, mm. that kind of leads me to. I don't know if you want to go on this song even more. No, no, not on this song. It was just you a, sure? Amongst the topic, we staying in the topic for sure. There was somebody who left a voicemail. Note, who left oh, a voicemail. Thank God, me. I was trying to freaking bring it up. <laughs> no. no, Reggie, you were killing so up. Karen, Karen, I was trying. I swear. Because I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. I got it. I got you. <laughs> nah, do your thing. You. I'm not gonna lie. When I say there's a lot to talk about, like Drake, there is because I think personally yeah. that he is the closest superstar in proximity. Meaning, you know somebody that knows somebody yeah. that knows Drake. Like that's just what life. it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Like that's right. just what it is. And maybe that's gonna work in his disadvantage as an artist, as a rapper in this beef, because it's like, bro, if I hear things about you, and I'm, I'm, I ain't shit. Like I said, <laughs> I'm just whatever. I work my nine to five. You're I go a home. three time Webby Award winner. J tell him, hello, <laughs> and BET nigga. Don't, I'm being serious. don't forget your BET awards too, now. I got that. Come on, now. And you on a rising podcast? Hello, bro. another rising hello. podcast. <laughs> If if I could do whatever if I rule the world, right? I do. <laughs> Imagine that, Imagine right? Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> if, <laughs> all I'm saying is, I'm sure there's plenty of dirt out there for Drake, yeah. for people who are actually his peers, which I assume Kendrick to be. Now, real quick before I play the voice note of this person, I do think it was smart of Drake to drop a second one, even if it was not on DSPs and just on Instagram, because mm -hmm. public perception... And his fan base. Exactly. I see everybody. Oh, Drake up 2-0. Drake up 2-0. I'm not mad at that perspective. Drake up 2-0. I could see that. You know, Kendrick hasn't responded yet. So in terms of how it looks, I think that was brilliant. I yeah. think that was so brilliant. Mm. Like, get out of nigga that don't be on social media. Like, just keep going. Just keep going. So yeah. he looked like he's scared. God, now, I don't know if Drake is scared. <laughs> and that's the reason why he's trying to double down and maybe rush a response. But yeah. we'll nah, see. I, I feel like Drake got something like a heater in the tuck. That I'm that he's hoping he's trying to summons or yeah. call him out or bait him to, you know, give. Her he a is baiting him heavy because he keeps commenting like, "Yo, uh, Top Dog doesn't have like TD. No, not TD. But yeah. I don't know somewhere they don't have anything to drop. Like Drake keeps saying that, so yeah, he's yeah. baiting them. So I don't know what he has. I will say if Kendrick and I, I know you got the voice note, mm -hmm. but if Kendrick doesn't drop within like the next <laughs> week, I'll give him fourteen days, two weeks, okay. not even. I'll give him seven days. You think he'll still? But, but Drake had four weeks. I get it. No, no, no. But, you, no, 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 but listen. I, I hate you to put you with them Drake go, supporters, bro. bro. I don't hate to, because I am. 
Because that's my man. Like, but we all support Drake. Same. I fuck with that. No, no, no. That's you're, my man. You're smarter than the stand. But what I'm saying, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm, I'm blindly following. No, Yo, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm highlighting. But yeah. what I say is, Drake's diss is direct. Mm -hmm. There's no subliminals. Mm -hmm. It's it's direct, and it was prompt. So for me to say he has another two weeks when we've given him a, a two weeks initially, he's not on tour. There's no built-in excuse. There's no built-in excuse. Even if we did give Drake the grace of time, we all saw him just tour. And so as music consumers, as fans, we can all say, you know what? Let's give him a little bit of time because yeah. of that. I mean, With Kendrick, yeah. we don't see that. And I don't know what he's going through in his personal life, yeah. but from a fan's optics, we don't see the fact that, oh, maybe we should give him that grace. It yeah. doesn't exist. So with that being said, that means you have nothing but time. And if you have nothing but time, you should be able to respond in a timely manner. Yeah. Well, I'm granting everybody grace. I want to be clear. I'm getting, uh, granting Kendrick grace. I'm not even mad at people who mad at Drake for, for using a dead person's voice and all of that. Um, Y'all didn't complain when companies and corporations used the likeness of them for years? <laughs> Crickets. Crickets, this is rap beef, nigga. That look, that's for Drake and Drake's conscience, nigga. <laughs> that shit don't got nothing to do with me. Wait, like, why is everyone so like the mad? What the fuck they got to do with me, yeah, bro? All right, Peter, huh? Yeah, people, people are, are mad people are mad who are on the Kendrick they're saying, side. They're saying they're like disrespecting their legacies. That's why Fox still drops albums. Save on. <laughs> so why the fuck can I use on. his voice? Save on. The fuck are you talking? That nigga, bro. What the fuck are you talking? About? Every year he drop an album. <laughs> Does he? Bro, I, he be dropping double disc. Oh. <sighs> Bro. Go ahead. Piss me off. Um, go look. If you Who? type in Tupac, right? That's what you do in your spare time. You, and just, it'll show you, you just type in Tupac nigga, at random times. It say right? new releases. Uh -huh. This nigga be having 2017 releases, bro. <laughs> look at his latest release. Oh, what the fuck? That's AI. It's not. That's AI. Why is this... Lo-fi chill vibes with Tupac on his Spotify. Oh, that's AI. Yeah, I ain't see the shit he did at Coachella a couple Bro, years ago. This <laughs> nigga, I did not see this before. It's all defake and AI. The nigga was at Coachella. Defake. This nigga still drops. No, he don't. So Drake can drop. Uh, <laughs> now, if he used Biggie voice, I believe. I'm not mad. Biggie is out of here. Wait, what you mean? Wait, Yo, say boss, shut the fuck up. Yeah. They're not here. No. Oh, you're saying Tupac's still alive. Pac, <coughs> Pac is. Pac here? He sh his spirit still is here, here with us. His spirit is strong. His spirit is strong. There's a lot of conspiracy okay, I'm about around. To say, he like being outside. I feel like we would have seen him. All that hiding wouldn't have worked for that nigga. He like be outside. Biggie don't have no releases. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Tupac <laughs> does. I mean, so if a nigga <laughs> still <laughs> dropping, I, mean, I could use his voice. Is all I'm saying. I'm with you. That's I'm 100. But I'm yes, saying. there are people that are mad that he I went to use that. the dead's voice. That don't got nothing to do with me. That is Drake's conscience and God. This rap beef, yeah. I don't know what y'all bring. I'll just listen to it. See, I'm fair. I'm fair on both sides. <laughs> let me let me let me let me play this voice note for real. Oh, here you go. This, this is one of our beautiful listeners. Also, please do not forget to reach out to us and leave us voicemails. We love to hear from y'all mm -hmm. and speak to you guys. You guys add to the conversation. And we might play it on the pod like this. And we just might play it on the pod. Get your moment of fame. Hey, just wanted to say I just caught you guys' podcast on the whole rap beef that's going on. And hey, Savon, you disqualified, bro. You know what I mean? I knew you was capable hard for Drake. I let it go. But once you said you offered your bitch to Drake, yo, you did that. And he called his bombs during the beef. Nah, man, you you disqualified. You 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 can't touch on it no more. <laughs> so let me clear that up for this gentleman. I don't know who that this was guy pretty is. Wild. That's I what you did. I didn't offer. That's what you I, did no. for Drake. What I told her is what I would tell anybody that I care about, which is to follow your dream. <laughs> no, you but wouldn't. Like, what? If your dream is to go fuck a nigga. Follow your dream. I'm not gonna get in the way of following your dream. But what if it was your I'm girl? I'm offering. It wasn't my girl. It was somebody I was courting. It was somebody I was dating. It was somebody oh, I was. So you were just caught off. I feel you. It was somebody who I I've was like, hey, I have an understanding. And then you were I've like, by before. the way, you can really fuck Drake if you want. <laughs> that is what we were talking about. Saying, <laughs> hey, why would free. you say that? Like, like if you ain't doing that, you go fuck on that. Nigga. Because Alex <laughs> taught me. I was gonna. No, say, yes. no, no. Alex, Alex oh, ain't teach you no, shit. Guys. That's the problem with niggas. Niggas always want to put Alex this, Alex that. You don't put Alex. I remember, Not told, shit again. I remember that, Alex. What I, what I told you, you oh, were no. saying. No, I said, we're not going to do that again. You want me to say it? Not oh, you. oh, 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 the marriage shit, right? On your honeymoon, 
I ain't saying I'm my honeymoon. No, but it's, I mean, no, 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 we're not even going there. I'm not even okay, going there. Okay. What I'm saying is, we don't own anything. We don't yes. own, especially yes. people. Absolutely. So if I, I told meet you somebody right. and I'm dating that person <laughs> okay. casually, I told you we're that. not in yep. a committed relationship. As much as maybe we wanted to be exclusive at that time, we weren't exclusive. I mean, I and feel she you. said, hey, if I had a hall pass, because again, when you're dating, you get into all these wild conversations. The little co- questions. You get into wild conversations. <laughs> you do, right? though. You definitely so do. So now this guy is making me explain myself. <laughs> what happened was, me and this young lady we talked about hall passes okay if we were to ever or if you were in a relationship yeah what and who would be your hall pass but who's your hall pass Rihanna? yeah no my hall pass mm-hmm. no because i'll never get rihanna so i have to scale it down <laughs> yeah. i thought hall pass is just like who would you pick out of anybody yeah but no? then it's but me. you like to be realistic it gotta be ca- a caveat it has to be like what's the real hall pass <laughs> you mean like, like the most realistic yeah. that he could actually okay. that i could actually like Wait, so maybe come it? Who am I? I think you said it already. Yeah. I'm not going to say Oh, is it the, the one that all of us know? Is it with a K? It starts with a K? Nah. Okay. No. Don't uh, say it. No? Oh, it's not that one? Oh, I thought, no, it, was that, I, I thought it was that one too, <laughs> No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Oh, look, you're getting a little nervous. Yeah, getting, you're a little nervous. But, but, shy? but so yeah, when, like when, when you oh, are dating nigga, nigga smiling in here. Yeah. It got brighter in here and all that. <laughs> nigga grinning in here. When you're dating, <laughs> you have these unorthodox questions. Yes. Do. Like when and the girl one... asks you, would you love me if I was a worm? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, my dumb ass be like, yeah. <laughs> I'll be lying. Okay, I'm sorry. You're the whole past conversation. Oh, no. you so I just wanted y'all to know, like, I wasn't offering <laughs> this woman to Drake. Clear it up for the listeners. What I was saying yeah. is, Clear it up. hey, if we're dating and we're getting to know each other, it's important for me to know her hall pass as mine. And so she told me her hall pass was Drake. It's Drake, okay. And when I told her who my hall pass was, she was like, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick like some D-list fucking random ass celebrity? Shorty yeah. said who? She wasn't even worried about Wait, can about you tell us? You don't want to tell us? <laughs> it was, yo, mark this. It was <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That is your type, Savon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I will say, gorgeous woman. <laughs> that was my whole pass. And that is all I will say about that woman. <laughs> so, because she's that, been a lot of controversy. So. That, that, that was sure. my whole pass. And then she said, Drake. There's a she upped it on you. She oh. upped it on you. She There's said, okay. She was like, like, oh, yeah, well, I'm a fuck Drake. <laughs> so, <laughs> take that. So, take yeah. That. So, that's how I got to, hey, if you really, if you, if you dream it, you can achieve it. <laughs> and we all, and we know, you, your words have power, so. Yeah, you know. Oh so yeah, you could definitely fuck his Paul Pass. Yeah, you gotta yeah. Watch, you gotta watch how words travel. So that's why Rihanna, like, as much as I, I admire Rihanna, like, that's not my that's not pass, your Paul Pass. It's not, it's not gonna happen. I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, All gotta right. be realistic with these. <laughs> Anything else y'all got on the uh, the whole Drake? Uh, what was it called again? The Drake oh, Taylor, Taylor made. Oh, you know I mean? um, the Taylor made. How'd you feel about the Taylor Swift line that, that's in there? Oh, we're gonna get to that, my good brother. Okay, we're gonna get to that, my good brother. But he did say to reference what you're saying that. You know, he been said Taylor Swift was the biggest gangster and he he moves her release date when she dropped. And I don't blame him. I Drake do. said that? He yeah. definitely did say. He said it right Honestly, on the, He said it right on there. Who is doing Taylor Swift numbers? And who? Hmm. And he did say that Kendrick isn't gonna drop anytime soon because Taylor Swift is uh, just dropped. He did say Ooh. that. He like, oh yeah, now nah, nah you're not gonna drop because of Taylor Swift, right? And if he winds up being I right. I don't like that shit. I like this B shit, man. I hate that we have to pick sides, bro. You just like them in the comments. <laughs> I hate that shit. I, I'm glad this is happening. I now, don't mind. You don't? No, because yeah. like, nah, bro. It, it, it adds to fandom. Yeah. It adds to fandom. And I like yeah. I want to be wrong or I want to be right. I don't want to live like, oh, like, I could have, should have, would have. The need to know podcast. I'm only gonna be just... wrong or I'm gonna be right. <laughs> so if I ride with like what's with... the other alternative? Being a being a being calm gray area, okay, that's <laughs> like me, you know, on the gray little couch. <laughs> you said, nah, I hate gray. See how happy I see how happy I am. Yeah, I'm not sweating at all. You know, I don't yeah. mind being wrong. That's one thing about I don't mind being wrong. Yeah, bro. Okay. I don't well, mind. I will say this, man. It's just it's just some uh, people you can't bring to the party. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what this I was waiting for. The how did this way? even come about? Who called who? Oh. Uh, yeah, Pluto, Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we, uh, you know, went through the, you know, the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans, oh. called them out in London to get on a joint. And, you know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, <laughs> you, not excited. We was energized. Some niggas can't get a wristband. <laughs> Facts. Bottle section ain't for everybody. <clears throat> The line was too long. Yo, sometimes your man can't get in. Yeah. <laughs> All right? 
this is this is <laughs> this is bad. Nasty. This is very bad for that other side. Yeah. Okay, this is me just speaking as a as a rap fan. Mm-hmm. <sighs> to have somebody literally be in that studio space, right? Mind you, I also want to highlight what I'm saying. Uh, what we just played for you is uh, an excerpt from it looks like to be Justin Leboy, who's his, uh, America's favorite uh, me- memer. It Alex looks- fucking hates that man, <laughs> aka my arch nemesis. <laughs> <clears throat> um, he said this like for three years yeah. and like, I'll say it really quickly I think he single handedly killed our culture with his memes fuck it I'm mad serious I guess anyway I know he be stealing them shits I, I could, I'm I, hating hard right I, now I could combat on that but I want you to keep cooking go ahead nah nah I just I, I, just, I just feel like he has a lot of say with the people in our culture and how they view memes, how to digest me. The thing, the fucked up part about it is so subconscious, we don't even realize. I'm sorry for getting deep on y'all because I was trying to be funny. Nah, you good, bro. Okay. But anyway, it looks like Justin LeBoy stepping into the <laughs> pod. so supportive. Yes, yeah, salute. The crash up. You like this. That's my guy. But it looks like, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Keep it going. It looks like uh, Justin LeBoy has entered the podcast space. It looks, uh, the name of his shit is called The Download. The Download. Yeah. And this is an excerpt from his interview with Kanye West. Uh, this interview was very difficult to find. <laughs> there are now leaks on Twitter and on YouTube, but originally this was released through the Yeezy website. And he wanted you to cop something for $20 to watch the interview. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't mad at it. Get your money on, get your money. Now, as far as Metro Boomin, Future, Kendrick Lamar, everyone else on that side, Rick Ross, I'm forgetting. It's mad niggas now. Yeah, it's a civil it's, war. It's a yeah, civil war fast. now. This doesn't look good on the end at all. <laughs> At all. That's why you got to be the talkative nigga at home. <laughs> the niggas that talk too much, I don't have them around me. What? Name, name some dudes you see talk too much around me. I'll nah, wait. Nah, you right. They, they gonna <laughs> fuck up the party. Them niggas that talk too much gonna fuck. That is your Alex's friends just be chill as fuck. <laughs> they don't fact. talk too much. Because once you get to talking too much, people know your plans. Yeah. People know your intentions. Right? And if they play in the art of war, oh man, this was, this was a bomb. <laughs> It, 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 almost, it almost seemed random. Like, I was gent- similar to you. I was mad. I'm like, Kanye, what are you doing? Now, <laughs> to reference also what he's saying, say, Vaughn, say what you're saying. I'm, I'm just tired. I, I, I'm, 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 over, I'm over Kanye, bro. I'm over Kanye, bro. <sighs> I don't care no more. Like, he doesn't make me care. And, and, and Tell you. it's one of those things where, what have you done for me lately? I hate to be that. And I hate to say that to Kanye, one of our greats. I think he, like, we don't put in perspective just how great and how much he's contributed to us. Nah, he don't. Because of the bullshit that he is doing lately. <laughs> like, for real, like, nah, he don't. I don't give a fuck about anything you're saying <laughs> for multiple reasons. Yeah. Not only do I think what you're saying is contradicting what you've been and who you've been yeah. for your career, yeah. but I also think, the music is ass. I also think the clothing has been ass. Like nothing about you is is hot right now. Where is God? Like, I, oh my god, it's all gone. I was thinking that <laughs> while I was watching, <laughs> yo, bro, while I was watching that, I'm I heard you saying that because he was referencing the Kanye was referencing uh, himself to being God. Where is God? Yeah, he keeps saying like, God. Too. I know this ain't the same dude from four years ago, is, right? Is it, With is the it, Sunday services, and right? And not just God, because I want to be specific. <laughs> because God? I also talk like, yeah. I, I'm very conscious of the way that people weaponize religion, beliefs, mm-hmm. and the word God, right? Mm-hmm. I think there are a multitude of quote unquote gods, and I think anything can serve as a God, which is why when people get on stage and they accept their awards or they say a speech and they say, hey, shout out to God. I always look at that with my third eye open because your God could be completely different from my God, right? The person that you serve, the person that you worship, the person that you believe in can be completely opposite of what it is that I believe in, what I stand for. So when people just say God, I'm very wary because I know a lot of people serve different things. But he named the album Jesus is King. And that's why I was going to go to. <laughs> the next step was Jesus, right? Yeah. Because God is one yeah. person who, or one, one entity, entity yeah. that can represent a multitude of things, right? Sure. Money can be God to somebody. Mm-hmm. Literally. I can yeah. serve money. Like whatever it is that you serve can be God. But then when you get into specifics, like a Jesus who was uh, uh, the son of God in certain religions, it, 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 it narrows it down to a specific religion and belief system, right? Yeah. Whereas Kanye, he did that. He didn't just say God, because again, there's a lot of people who serve God. I don't want to be conspiracy man, but a lot of your big faves, your big, 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 big faves will get on stage and they will say thank you to God and their God will be the devil. But we ain't going to talk about that. 
Kanye in particular, he goes into Jesus specifically. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when you say, oh, where's God? Science, science. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, wait. So now it's not only, let's, let's remove God, the entity, the all, the all being. Let's get back to it's Jesus. Like doing the science, yeah. He ain't even talking about no Jesus no more. Yeah. It's all gone. And so when you push something the way that you did, yeah, where Jesus name the right? album, all of that, I can't take anything that you say mm -hmm. for fact, for real, for anything. And then when you sit next to, and Alex, you're my brother. Yeah. Since we started this podcast, there's yeah. been a few people that you've hated yeah. and you have stood 10 toes down on hating. Yeah. Very consistent. One of them I don't agree with, mm. which is Michael Blackson, but I understand. Yeah, I hate oh. you, nigga. Oh my God. Ain't that family? Is his accent. The one is not true. It's That's not racist? true. My fault. The way he talk is not true. That's why I don't like him. And number two has been Justin LeBoy. Yes. And at first, when you said Justin Beloy, uh, LeBoy. <laughs> yeah, he got one of them fucked Beloy. up names. That's okay. He got one of them fucked up names. It's Justin, hard. He said Justin Beloy. LeBoy. Yeah. Justin Beloy. Yeah, yeah. A few years ago. I didn't understand it because he was he was faceless. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. He, he just was a meme. He was a page. And I thought it was just lighthearted. I'm like, all right, it's fun, it's cool, it's relatable, it's trendy. Going back to that word trendy, that's what Justin LeBoy was until he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And now that we're here and we see him and we hear him, and I he 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 is the definition of a pawn, right? Yeah. He's I can a, agree with you on that. He's a pawn. I can agree with I you on that. Saying. I could definitely agree with you on that. Can I just jump yeah, in right there? Yeah. So when you said pawn, I think about, okay, this is some, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but who cares? Who's going to stop me? So like, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of like actual confirmation that like Kanye has been dying to get just like a big interview lately to like get his shit off. Yes. And a lot of people, some people we know, literally the three of us know in real life, like have had an opportunity to have this big Kanye interview. Mm-hmm. But so many people have turned it down because, like, mad people are like, no, I turned it down. I got the opportunity. I turned it down. This this magazine said we turned it down, like, because, like, because of all the crazy shit he was planning to say and he wants to control the entire interview. So that's, right. that's what made me think about, like, Justin LeBoy as a pawn because he's the only one that said yes to this shit. And, and, and he would just, he's like, okay, fine, use me however you fucking want. Absolutely. And yeah. Justin LeBoy has gotten very close to Kanye over the years, for those of you that don't know. This isn't a random link up. They are very close. Yeah. At least three, four years going on now. I remember the pandemic. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if they're close. I just it, think it look like it, that yeah. it's an exchange. I think sure, it's transactional. Sure, I sure. think that Kanye, he's so out of touch that he believes that Justin LeBoy moves the needle. He believes that Justin Be uh, well, LeBoy, and I can't even hold say on, his name. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk a little bit. He, he I, believes that he bit. has influence let's talk a little bit as a personality as a interviewee not even just that it's just i think i think he went too far i think he just sees justin leboy as influence how many times a day do you see a justin leboy meme yeah without even thinking he, he's i got, see it quite often yeah i not, probably see a justin leboy meme every i don't even follow him mm -hmm. but the mm -hmm. people i keep up with they fucking keep reposting that shit constantly <laughs> some of it is good yeah I was some say. of it is relatable but, if we were to remove his name yeah we were about good to remove though. his account and just say some of and i'm not saying all yeah but some of the shit i'd be like oh shit that's dope and then i see his name yeah and it has the stench on it <laughs> and it's like oh i can't i yeah. cannot talk about my this. like that yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah. i understand exactly what you're saying but yeah. i think there's the brand of that name on instagram uh -huh. it's not him Okay. No, it's not him that we look at like, oh my God, I want to hear from this guy. The brand of Justin LeBoy, mm -hmm. you're saying. It's the brand. It's the name. It's the Instagram And I think account. Kanye understands that as well. Yeah. Right? Because he's yeah. got an audience. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got, got, got an audience, audience bro. It's, it's, it's what academics has been able to do successfully, which is academic was a, a page that covered hip hop. We didn't know what he truly looked like. I don't know if y'all remember, but I go back to the time where academics was just an animated kind of picture yeah. of being a DJ. videos running. That you, mm -hmm. We didn't spoke. see him. Yeah. And then once he got into the camera, he learned how to transition into a, a personality, <coughs> right? Like it's no longer the academics page that I care about. I care about what he has to say. Yeah. Whereas Justin LeBoy, we we've never cared about what you say. One, you aren't reporting anything. Two, nothing that you say is informative. Three, and so now when I see you, I don't associate you with anything that's of substance because nothing about you has been of substance. So when I see you with Kanye West, yes, it out. does nothing for me. After, yeah, 
just being in the deal with Diddy. Yeah. Well, on Revolt. Damn. He did have Revolt yeah. deal with Justin LeBoy. You're right. Hit me out though, right? The group of us here are detached from Justin LeBoy. You're right. We don't see him as anything credible. We don't see him as anything like Dog, I know people, bro. And I'm, I'm not trying to gauge it off of 10 people, 20 people. I'm talking in the hundreds. The way they look at his page, bro, every day, how they repost, how they speak to him personally in the comments, like, they really do feel like they know, respect, and love that brand. Even when he do crash, even when he says memes that are going against the people in the comments, they still love it. And again, I'd be so disappointed. Yeah. I'd, I'd be sitting there like, I'd be like, girl, I'd be like, girl, this shit is not funny. Stop <laughs> fucking reposting this. They be like, weak. I'm like, yo, but, you're but we're pushing thirty. Is. Like, yeah. some of it is, it's and that's the thing. Yeah. And again, it's his name. It's the name that allows us to be like it's not lit or it's not funny because yeah. some of it genuinely is kind of funny but no, oh, shit, shit everything's up. subjective and when you look at the comments people are relating to wow like this is actually true yes i think that's what keeps the ding momentum ding going. ding i love that you said that and mm -hmm. i think kanye understands that exactly. a, a amount of relation yep you're right though we don't see him as an elliot wilson we don't see him as mm -hmm. our peers or anything like that but what the crowd views it as, I think, is what Kanye's paying attention to. Kanye's star just shines so bright that anything or anybody that he sits next to is going to get highlighted. But Justin LeBoy wasn't equipped to sit down with the Kanye West <laughs> in this space right now. Not at all. Nah, not at all. Like, he, he just wasn't equipped for it. He doesn't have the nuance. He doesn't have the skills, the, 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 the experience. He doesn't have the history. Like somebody that's sitting down with a Kanye West, you need to have lived in that time period of Kanye coming up till now, mm -hmm. or you need to have actual skills. Well, Justin LeBoy, he's somebody. in our age range though. He, he's, he's familiar with. But him. Justin yeah. LeBoy, he's. Are he's, you defending this nigga? No, I'm not defending. That's my op. <laughs> nah, what I, was you saying? I'm <laughs> always gonna keep, like, why are you even no, no, mention no, that to me? Then? But you know me, I gotta keep it hundred. I gotta keep it real, like how I did with Drake and Kendrick. But him being in our age range does nothing for being but what equipped I'm, to interviewing a Kanye West. Not that side. I'm talking about the other side you mentioned, whereas like he did grow up with him the same way we did. Yeah, he is familiar uh, with got it. Yeah, okay. I, I, so, I think uh, I think in the interview he was saying uh, I forgot the age, but he he basically said that. He would listen to Kanye when he was younger. Got you. Yeah, we're all in the same age range. Like, yeah. I don't want to not ever hear from you and not ever see you. And then the next time or the only time I see you is next to one of our greats. I really do think it's literally that sad that everyone is saying no to a Kanye interview and the only one who fucking do it is Justin LeBoy. It says a lot. That's the times that we're in. Like, that really says a lot. It says a lot. That's why we're seeing him all of a sudden. Because he's yeah. the only one that would say yes. Yeah. Well. Damn. Y'all ain't show no love to this, though. What's up? Why ain't... <laughs> Yo, Dad, I got you. Dad, I, got you. <laughs> I ain't showing no love to the yay. Hold on, you know he. Go Hold on, <laughs> garbage coming. <laughs> what? Real quick, has some garbage ever uh, grown on you? <laughs> you you kind of like that shit now? That's a great question. I, th I think, I see. remember I said on the last time he put out an album, I think he forgot how to rap, <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, this shit fake grown on me. I don't know if it's the beat. It's, it's the probably the, it's the, the It's the beat, right? It's the way they mask that the, shit, right? Because the lyrics are say, not good. He ain't like, say shit, right? This nigga is trash. Hold on. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it, yeah. <laughs> Now, though he didn't say anything, it is the part that stood out to me. We all know who Lucian Grange is, head of Universal Music Group. Universal Music Group owns a large <laughs> group of divisions when it comes to the music uh, industry and music labels. Um, it's funny that he mentioned it because that's the thing about this beef shit. There are so many things that Quavo said. There's so many things that Chris Brown said. There's so many things that Drake said. There's so many things that J. Cole said, vice versa, that can be related to that same person. <laughs> That's why I think it's just so funny. Like, we've seen pictures with 
Kanye and Lucian, mm-hmm. right? We, we've seen them get, get together, but it does speak to the business aspect of this. When I saw Kanye insert himself into this beef, I completely, I, I stopped thinking about like the fan shit, real talk. Mm-hmm. This was the first time I was like, because I'm trying to stay in fan mode, although I do, I do, I can see why there's some big business behind this. This was the first time I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. It's some big shit. There's a lot going on. Because we've been new, you hate Drake, bro. <laughs> you ain't had to hop on a like that remix for you to tell me that. Mm-hmm. Right? This this feels like a controlled effort. Like, nah, I have to continue to go at you because behind the scenes, I'm not winning the way I want to because I'm seeing how certain things are being controlled mm-hmm. and mimicked by your side. Mm-hmm. Question. Yeah. What year was that Larry Hoover um, concert? Oh, you mean that Larry Hoover concert where, bro? Uh, Larry Hoover and Jay Prince told got Drake and Kanye to link up to do a concert together. Was that two years ago? I think it was about two years ago. We look, at, we could look it up. So As you're looking so, it up, can I say? I'm sorry. Just, yes. I just, I just have to get this yes. out. I did this last episode. I don't know. I'm sorry, but the silly bars be making me laugh. Like I just, I just, I have to. You know, like so. <laughs> this is funny. I'm you about so, to have me weak. I'm sorry. He said, "I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J Cole, get the pussy dry." <laughs> That's why I fuck with you. You a joke. You a J. Cole like, fan. That's fun. Like, and you still find a Uber. Like, that's Kanye fire. saying, that's funny. That like, funny. what the fuck are you, like, what is, like, what is, what is going on and here? And like, to your what point, is, a lot oh. of people forgot the smoke behind uh, J. Cole and Kanye, right? J. Cole oh, put shit. out, remember J. Cole put out False Prophets however many years ago? Oh, yeah. And he was obviously talking about He's Kanye. He's basically shooting Kanye. He said, I got something for you. He just said, J. Cole's music is pussy dry. Whatever. <laughs> we got to really Whatever, do bro. the science. J. Cole might, he, he might be the closest thing to Jesus. Why? What? Okay, where are you, where are you taking that? Where are you taking that? No, 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 listen, what, bro. What, what you need what you to know? know? The nigga called out Kanye you as a false know? prophet. You saying he sacrificed himself? <laughs> he sacrificed himself on that stage a few weeks ago when he apologized. <laughs> His initials are JC. All right? Oh. I'm not uh, the hair, hey. the dreads, all of that. Bro, the nigga might be the closest thing to Jesus <laughs> that we got Cole, in hip hop. Cole 33? Like, because we know Lecrae was. Oh, he's pushing 40. Oh, yeah, he is older. Yeah, he's Lecrae was at the Diddy parties. Save so on. we got to take that back. Save on. The only time J. Cole was at the Diddy parties, he was fighting Diddy. <laughs> The devil. They was in a club. The, I'm club. just letting you know that this. I'm, I'm trying to do the science. He said he was Let's fighting the devil. <laughs> yeah, did he? Yeah, oh wow! He's wow. 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 he fighting wow. against the devil. I'm letting. I'm bro. I'm We're gonna clip this and throw it on Reddit. I'm here. here bro. I'm wow. just letting you know, bro. Nah, you was doing the science with Thanks. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm Kanye listening. was. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> like I've been around a, a ton of narcissists. I've been called a narcissist. Mm. Like y'all never been called a narcissist? Never. Uh, no. Just you, buddy. Actually, no. <laughs> you never had actually, this actually, brutal no. fucking ex yes, call you a yes, narcissist. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Come I had to, on, bro. No, I had to, I had Thank to you. Because like, no, I usually don't get called that. That's why it took me so long. Okay, but was it like valid? Because you know how people be fucking throwing that word no, around? Like, it was one of those. She just okay, threw okay. it around. Like, it was some disgruntled shit. Like, whatever. Like, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't subscribe to that. And Alex, I don't think he's yeah. a narcissist either. No, thank but you. But I know that. when people get upset, they be like, oh, you're a fucking narcissist. Oh my God. People no, just I'm say that when they can't use their brain. Exactly. I just when when their brain fuck. stop working so they can't formulate the words to really execute you and finish you, they just say saying buzzwords yeah. and shit. Yeah, because you guys are not narcissists. Yeah. Like, I, would, I would tell you. Thanks. I don't think that Means at all. A lot. <laughs> but I, I, I truly believe that Kanye <laughs> West is like the definition of that. And so he inserts himself into trendy, hot topics. We know how he feels about Drake. Trying to catch a wave. And so he's trying to catch the wave and like I don't really want to give like, him any more of my energy. Yeah. Like, he said, yeah, we was all in the studio hating. <laughs> he, he hit a nigga just now? He said, yeah, we was in there hating. Pluto called us. We was in there like, yeah, fuck that nigga. We got to eliminate him. He's gone. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if he realizes in that moment, at least when he said it to Justin LaBoy, how it makes him look and, the, and how it makes the beef look. Yeah. Back to what I said last week, right? People kill me. Yo, Drake. I said, Drake, I feel like this is one of those occurrences, rare occurrences, mm-hmm. Where you should have put out two diss tracks. Standing on it. You I'm gotta, standing on it. You gotta explain. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm explaining some more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 just ready. before we go, like you I go just ready. okay. So there were, you know, check out our last episode, guys. I thought it yeah. was pretty great, but literally hundreds of comments yeah. killing Alex for being like, "Why would Drake drop two diss tracks?" But I don't see the happened. reason why I didn't really combat <laughs> um, Alex in the moment was because like, okay, I see, I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. But now, did Drake not just drop two diss tracks? Like. 
It's like why? Why are you? I want to see what they say in the comments now. Why are you guys killing? I genuinely like. Why are you guys killing Alex Ford? Because sometimes when people could see ahead and they can't see yet, they get mad at you. No, I can't. Didn't Drake literally just drop two songs? Like, what is what is the issue of what Alex said? Like, came off like Alex was saying, "Hey, Drake should have dropped two diss songs." Yeah. Uh, consecutively, one right after the other. Oh well, like, it literally. had nothing to do with the consecutiveness. I, I mean, want to be he, clear today, yeah, right? That's how it came off. Though. For me, the reason why I said it is the focus, right? You can get lines can get blurry when you're shooting at everybody on one song, right? Ken, you and Kendrick Lamar have been going at it for over a decade. <laughs> We've seen more and more signs of this from week to week as this beef progresses, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like, yo, I think you 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 get one at him, and then you get one at yeah. them. You don't even got to respond to them after you done with them niggas. Hmm, like fo that. focus on Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. See, and, focus and, on Kendrick. And that's why I think yeah. that Drake, <laughs> I said this last week and I got a phone call about <laughs> it. I probably shouldn't have said it. Uh-oh. But I, I do believe Drake, he 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 does make every song that he's on better. <laughs> oh, you cleaned that up this week? <laughs> he's doing it again. He's like, <laughs> Drake nah, he is cleaned just, that up. I'm just guys, nah, say, don't, like, don't pussy for the round. Nah, say what you said last week. Nah, Drake but is I, just I better. Say, yeah, he is, just, he is better than a lot of these niggas. And Rick Ross proved that because he just dropped the video. Drake, Rick Ross just dropped the video to his diss song. I, I don't think, like, <laughs> unless cared? you felt like that you could capitalize off of that is the only reason why you would make a video to a diss song a week later. Yeah. So I think that kind of proves a little bit of that. And then also when it comes to Kendrick Lamar, I think, damn, what the fuck do I think? Hold on. Yeah. Like, what like, you think? What's your, what's your biased ass thing? No, no, no. Well, I had yeah. a point. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I, I was going to mm -hmm. say... When um, Kanye entered into the chat, quote unquote, that's when it hit me for what you said last week, Savon, about, yo, Drake is really like, he's great. Because if it takes 20, like you said, if, he ta if it takes 20 people. Them niggas ain't need yet. Like, <laughs> no, they, they didn't need yet. <laughs> okay. What I was going to say about niggas Kendrick that, really quick before yeah. I lose my, my yeah. train of thought yeah. again. I'm curious to hear the actual rift between Kendrick and Drake. Because like a direct one? I always assume that most men who have tension is between those two things, women and money. And I can't really figure out what their issue is with each other and why it's been for so long. I don't know if they have a woman in common. It's not women. And I feel like the way that they both get money is... You know, it doesn't get in each other's lane, right? Like Drake gets his money in lane two and Kendrick is in lane one for whatever reason, right? Like, I don't think it's a, a money thing. I don't think it's a monetary thing. And I don't think it's a woman thing. I'm curious to know why and where this stems from, which I don't think we've heard from these two. Chris Brown and Quavo, it's a lot easier to dissect. Like we know. <laughs> I think, yeah, we know exactly yeah. why they're pissed off at each other. I think Metro and Drake, I think Drake with Rick Ross, like that's a business thing, right? Like we've seen them work together closely for years. Everybody else, even Future, Future and Drake, we can assume is two things, whether it be women um, or whether it be money business right we've seen them work together with kendrick and drake i don't know exactly what it is that have them clashing so i'm curious to see what unfolds with that outside of just competition because it can't just be i'm funny, better than you funny, better than I, me. I don't think they're gonna get into why i don't hate you i think it's really stemmed to something greater right remember how i told you last week i want you to think as a rapper real quick mm -hmm. we've seen i've seen breakdown over breakdowns over the last few weeks over when it started they, were, they threw shots on e at each other on songs I didn't even realize over the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real shit, I've seen all these YouTube breakdowns of them, of them doing it, and salute to you guys doing it. You guys are doing a great job. Imagine, imagine two people, right? Let's say you have two friends, right? Mm -hmm. They were both introduced at school as great, right? Like, but one came to school first, mm -hmm. right? So now, you at school, you got the other great person. He comes through. Yeah. So now all of your classmates are like, oh, you're oh, so great. Oh, my God. You're so great. You're so great. But they still love the both of them. Mm -hmm. Now, the psychology really lies between the two great people. Mm -hmm. Because now the person who has been great and who has been continuously hearing how he's great over all your classmates, all the students, etc. He now has a little bit of friendly competition. Well, it should be friendly, right? So now, when the other student starts to win student of the year, right? Mm -hmm. Starts to- Get more popular. All the honor rolls you've been on, they've been on. They're more popular or they're as popular, 
right? Mm. That can create tension mm. between Over like two. 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then exactly, right? So now you damn, you've been going to school with these niggas 10 years, right? <laughs> like this person gets a compliment, that person gets a compliment. Mm. But between the two of them, they want some shit like Man. Like, bro, can you get out of the way? I just think I get out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, I can't wait. I, I, that's the one component about this, like, you rap know why? beef that I, I just, yeah. I don't feel like anybody's really talked about. Like, outside of them mm -hmm. yeah. being competitive in rap, and I don't think competition from rap can create this type of uh, venom. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I, I just don't. I don't think it's just it, like, it, like, uh, no, I don't. I think it's personal. I think it's a little not. bit deeper than that. I, I don't know if it's a woman thing. I don't right, know if it's a business thing. Quick. I don't let's know if it's a money thing. Let's go back real quick. Let's go, I'm going to have a conversation with you. I don't think it's just, oh, you rap better than me, so fuck you for life. Like, right, I don't so think it's that. That analogy did nothing for you. I hear you. Let's just, let's just go back to what happened. We know that Drake brought Kendrick Lamar on one of his first tours. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Salute. After that tour, there were interviews shown You know that Kendrick became Kendrick after that tour. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember. You yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the relationship between the, between the two of them kind of changed, right? Again, public perception. I said students. We'll, we'll say public perception for you. Public perception, perception started to change between the two of them. At that time, I got to give Drake his credit. He's still giving kudos to, to Kendrick. Mm -hmm. Hey, he put him on the album. He's still trying to be the dude that was here first. He's still showing love. Like big bro. It's still trying to big bro. Yeah. But what Kendrick didn't like about oh, how he was treated over the years is like when... I forgot what award Kendrick won, but all of Kendrick's peers had congratulated him. Yeah. Drake was the only one who didn't congratulate him. Yeah. Drake is also the person who went on the interviews went and spoke about control. Like, yo, like, what is that? Is that like a like a moment? Like, like, oh my God. like, tell me how that song starts. Yeah. Verbatim, that's what Drake says. So if there are two heavyweights both playing in the same game, and we I'm seeing what you're doing, you seeing what I'm doing, and we're not as close because it seems to be the success. Then, bro, I think that very well could be. Then, when you add for the ten years, though, I think absolutely. no, I think that's the most important part. The ten absolutely. years, though, because it's been stewing for ten years. For, absolutely, yes, no, and that really gets you like Hot. fuck. Like, yeah. like so, you ever had a, had like he had he basically had an op for like ten years. You think about and that, and it's like, and I don't think, think about that. If it, if it, I, I don't doubt that it's personal, maybe it is, but mm -hmm. I don't know if it is because it really hasn't been like. Mm -hmm venom yet right. like they really haven't gotten like very personal yet if in the, the bars if the double on trauma on on tundra mm -hmm. is dropping in me 50 which is speaking to kendrick's contract disputes which again kendrick is very private we don't know anything about kendrick but which could apply to drake when drake also alludes to whitney mm -hmm. who seems to be who is kendrick's wife's name yeah. right whitney yeah that gets a little bit more personal than just I want to be a better rapper than you. So when y'all say it's not as personal, I mean, he, or maybe it turned personal. But he did it with Pusha I, though too. I, I, I again, I that, just, that was personal too. Yeah, but I think that's just something Drake likes to do. I, again, I think so, he gets yeah. personal because it gets yeah. personal. I don't think it's just competition, sure. which is what I'm saying. I, I, at some at some point, yeah. At some point, I don't know when, but do some psychology. At some point, do some there was something that went a little bit deeper than oh, he's just getting a lot of recognition in rap. At some point, so, it went a little bit deeper, deeper, let's go deeper let's than go just deeper. like, oh shit, Hold he's a here. great rapper yeah. and so am I. And so I don't like this guy. Like, let's go deeper. It's, it's, it's deeper than that. Canada has produced a ton of talent. Celine Dion, Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, Drake. Honestly, it, they really do have an endless bank of talent. <laughs> yeah, now, I was like, shout to Celine Dion, man. Shout to Celine Dion. <laughs> 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 I really love, like, she's a top five favorite artist. Right. right. Thanks, thanks. Now, <laughs> Toronto wasn't necessarily known for hip hop. No. They wasn't necessarily known for rap. Granted, we knew it was originated in, in New York, but the West Coast has been prominent in hip hop for a very long time. You forgot a name in there, by the way. No, name it. Go ahead, say it. Tori. Nigga, that sing rap, nigga. I'm talking about before before Drake, before Tory. I'm talking about the Cardinal official days. Okay, you okay. understand what I'm saying? You right, I'm talking about those Canadian days. Like they didn't have a, a rap goat. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to remember that. Now you got a cat who's from Compton, California. I'm I'm gonna keep drilling this point so you really understand where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. too. You got a nigga that's from Compton, California. We just heard how he used Snoop and Tupac on the <laughs> reference, right? Those Thanks. are two heavyweights in heavyweights. rap, right? Yeah. You start to see the rift between the two of you guys in your relationship. 
you start to feel a little bit more empowered with your music. I'm speaking if I'm Kendrick right now, right? And Drake looking at him like, nigga, I was here first and people really love me. I could 100% see how a nigga from California was like, y'all think this motherfucker is better than me? <laughs> I could I could a hundred percent see a nigga that was raised in the hood. I ain't gonna say he a hood nigga. I ain't saying you don't get I ain't gonna put no bodies on him. I could absolutely see how a nigga like that could go at a nigga like, didn't he used to be on the grassy? Again, there's nothing wrong with the grassy. I loved it. But I just think these are things that, that that's all I'm saying. I'm not I, everything you're saying, nah, I agree right. with. I know you do, yeah. I know you do. I, 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 and I, I hope promise you I do. I just don't think we're gonna get it on the rap. That's, that's what, the thing. I just I like I don't think we're gonna get it on the As a raps. consumer, when I'm when I'm peeling this all back. Yeah, because Drake is talking to him. So on that last record that you played, the yeah. Taylor May freestyle yeah. at the end, and again, I pay attention to because I grew up when the the most hurtful, the most damaging things outside of the bars was what people said before or after this. Right, I remember when Fifty Cent started going on his monologue on Piggy Bank. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I I know every single word. I can fucking like. Mm -hmm. I know when the track is just playing and the rapper is just talking. That's when you really hear how they feel. But what about everything how to rob? before that is is art? But what about how to rob? What about how to rob? Tell me about how to rob. What about it? How to rob? Did he personally have issues with everyone, no, or was it was he at shooting all. at every? That's what I'm saying. Like but at, at it's, that a point, a lot of that shit was brewed in competition. But when we go to How to Rob, Fifty yeah. Cent was trying to make a name for himself, and he says, "I use that as a tactic to get on all of these guys' radar, and I did it successfully." Mm. He wasn't a peer. So competition. These guys are all peers. So when you bring the How to Rob example into this, I don't think it applies because the they're made men already. Fifty Cent wasn't a made man when he was dissing Jay Z. When he was dissing. Nas, when he was dissing Fat Joe, when he was dissing all of these niggas, he wasn't a main competition man. competition is competition, right? It was competition, but I think yeah. there's a, a, is a certain way to go about it. Right. So, again, I said piggy bank, mm -hmm. because at that point, 50 Cent was 50 Cent, mm -hmm. Jadakiss was Jadakiss, mm -hmm. all of the people that he was talking to on piggy bank, he actually directly said, yo, this is this is the message. I'm the messenger, and this is where I want the message to go to. Y'all know who I am, I know who y'all are, are right. and that's where we went, right? I think it's two different things. The way that Drake is talking to Kendrick Lamar, when he's like, yo, I'm not going to let you run from, from this. Mm -hmm. the, I'm, no, nigga. No, it's been two weeks already. C come back out. I'm, I'm here for you. I want all the smoke. When he's talking like that, it tells me like, wait, all right. Not only is this competition, but there's something, there's something deeper mm -hmm. than just being the best rapper. Yeah, think, there's something more than just I want to be number one. Yeah. At some point, it I, had to get, uh, it had to get personal. So, so there was an interview out there um, after uh, Kendrick dropped the control verse, where uh, in the in the in the control verse he named a lot of people, uh, with including Drake, and then most of those people, like you were saying. Um, did interviews after that, and they were like, "Yo, you know, ASAP like Rocky." Yeah, they, they, they were like, "Yo, like, cool, Kendrick." You know, I understand what he was doing, so on and so forth. And like you guys were saying, Drake was the only one that kind of seemed a little bit more perturbed as to like what happened. So I could see a world where Drake was like, "Look, I helped you. I helped you uh, put you on the pedestal." I yes, and, and, and hold on, Pete. I want to yeah, add. I want to okay, add. Okay, and okay. Control was very early on in their careers. Yeah. I think it was like 2014 or something. <laughs> nah, I think it was earlier than that. Oh, I'm about to look it up. Control so, was very early on in been. their careers, and Drake was the only, he was the outlier. Yeah. I want to yeah, could you look it up, Reggie? Thank mm -hmm. you. But Drake was the outlier, and Pierre. Don't forget what you about to say, yeah, right? You're you doing good. great. He was the outlier that didn't give him the, the the big up like the rest of them did, and said, "Yo, what? Do you even know how that song starts?" Mm. I, uh, again, I'm, 2013. I'm, I'm happy. 2013. I'm excited to see how all of this unfolds. Yeah. Um. Again. I would love, and I'm not gonna get it. And I know that. I know y'all are not gonna pick a side, and that's okay. <laughs> and I'm I'm fine with being on the wrong side of history. But there's no that, wrong or right side. There is. No. I, I believe so. It's the side if, if I'm talking to a dumb nigga, if I'm talking to a dumb nigga, that's subjective, no? Um, I pick Drake because <laughs> If he's really going up against like 20 people, Facts. if he wins, that's kind of fire. Facts. I'm Absolutely. not going to lie. And who else has artists of the decade? This ain't 20 people, Tom. Yeah. I, I, I ain't think Kendrick like that artist of the decade award either. But this ain't 20 people, Tom. But he is. No, I mean, I got no problem with that. Okay. But you saying <laughs> Kendrick doesn't like it. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm saying. You've been calling me a Drake fan. You know I don't give a fuck. I'm just, I like music. You know I don't that, know. bro. But if you, if you but had I to. Don't, I like music. Why don't you don't believe know. that I like music? If you had to pick I a side. I don't know. 
This nigga, bro. Because you get older and shit and you change. Yeah, but I like everything. I don't know. For All the Dogs is my favorite album of 2020 was of 2023. Was it? Yeah, I do a, a yearly wrap up of my favorite albums and singles. It was my favorite album. Hmm. <laughs> Look at him. Hmm. Like, nigga, you just mad because I know how to be balanced. You can learn a little balance in your life, bro. I don't want Savon it. Savon does hate balance. I don't he want hates it. balance. I don't want that's balance. Fine. That's, that's fine. That's what I'm, I don't yeah, fucking want balance, balance nigga. I, I, mean, I want you to know, like, you know, I like my racism how I like myself, nigga. Know what you want to know. Get what you like. That's it. I if a balance. racist is fucking oh. racist, I want to know you're racist. Hey, man. I want you to know where I stand when it comes to you. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. If I don't, I don't. I don't need balance. I, I don't need codes. I don't need, oh my God, he was so nice to me, but then he talked shit about me. But then he... no. no, like, no, this is I where I stand. I mean, fuck you. talk shit. I don't like you. Yeah, what the fuck? No, 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 no. <laughs> fuck all that balance, bro. I just love music, bro. So I don't. I know. I don't know what to say. Yo, I just gotta say I know. I love when like Savon, Savon is so into his back and forth where he just starts saying anything. Anything. I was thinking this in the umbrella conversation. He was just saying some fuck shit. I was like, be wild. No, no, no. I love music, but I really don't believe men should have umbrellas. I love music. I don't. No, no, no. I don't. You got it. No, but for real, like niggas shouldn't wear umbrellas, bro. You shouldn't have an umbrella. We can go back to that. Meg the Stallion. They're trying to accuse her of being female Diddy. There's some allegations out there. <laughs> oh my I saw God, a lot yo, when I saw that headline. Yeah. And we could like do speed round real quick because I know we're about to go over time. Yeah, yo, yeah, Courtney, yeah. I want to give a shout out. I know we gave a shout out to uh, Full Core Studios. We also gave a shout out to Mandy at the top of this episode. But I do want to give a shout out to their phenomenal staff, their phenomenal yeah. people that work here as well. Sure. Court, uh, Cam. Courtney and Cam yeah. as well. But I really, really, really want to highlight Cam and Courtney. Yeah, yeah. Because Courtney. I thought you were about to Highlight only Cam yeah, only and Courtney's like right there. <laughs> That'd be so crazy. Yeah, I said Cam and Courtney. No, 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 no I know, but you were like, I really want, but I really want to highlight Cam, and I was like, <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know, you highlight both. Courtney, he always, it's me, it's not him. I somehow always have a technical difficulty when I come into the studio. And Courtney is so accommodable. He's great. So I want anybody who does anything on a regular, right? Like if you wake up and you go to your favorite coffee shop every single day, you see the same people that work there every single day. Oh, that's me. I want you to just give them an extra tip. Give them a hug. Give them a <laughs> word of advice. Let yeah, them know that them. they are appreciated because yeah. I feel really bad every time we come into the studio. Yeah. I'm always going to push. That's just what I do. I'm sorry, Courtney. I'm sorry, anybody <laughs> in my life. I'm a pusher. I'm gonna push the boundaries. Oh, I'm gonna you make just sure. Stop. No, I'm not. No, because right. if I stop, then where do we, where do we go? Absolutely. So, no honestly, that is true. Yeah, like, nah. I can't. I always not. tell him that. I got no I, problem. Like, I, I like to push things. I was just giving you options. That's all. So I, I push to get this yeah. new look yeah. on the set. And I know it's pretty difficult. I know you guys got to move a lot of furniture. Thank you. But I just want to appreciate y'all and I want to highlight y'all. There's not many things that I do on a weekly basis where it stays the same. There's some consistency. Yeah. This studio, this staff is the one consistent in my life. <laughs> Niggas and trying to get some free shit. <laughs> Facts. No, 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 no. I just... <laughs> Imagine if I put a mad <laughs> song. He put a mad... We try, he trying to get some free hours in here. What? Right. Nah, keep, keep going. Keep You're not keep going. Keep, nigga, say what else? Say you, like her, say you like her style. All I know is yeah. I, I just be switching shit up. So thank Come you on. to everybody who deals with it. And me. we love y'all. Thank you. Right. We do. We I do, see we do. where he's going with it. We nah, do. I like what you was going with that. Yo, Courtney is so uh, amazing. amazing. Let me ask some shit on this. And he's, he's a Taurus. And, and, and he's from Westchester. Westchester, he make music. I like it. Yeah, yeah. man. It's a great place here. Y'all come book. <laughs> Westchester greed a lot of uh, breed a lot of a lot of good people. Yeah. A lot of good oh folk. I don't God. know where they went wrong with you. <laughs> what? I don't know where they went wrong with you. But you were saying, um, <laughs> Reggie. So in latest news, we were recording this early in the week. So if other things have developed, please don't come at us. So right. Megan Thee Stallion is being accused by her um, ex cameraman, who says that she, he was forced to watch her have sex while they were in a car. So Megan Bad was agony. having sex with the lady. And the cameraman was apparently stuck in the car and he felt extremely uncomfortable. And he's filing a lawsuit against her. And she he said, him? Huh? She hired him? Oh my gosh. I feel him. Because what if it's stunk in there? Hold on, hold on, let me get through this. And All then right. he said in the suit that now the working environment was been, was so hostile and abusive and the harassment was so severe. Um, the working conditions became intolerable. And then, this is the last bit, so after all this broke, <laughs> Megan's attorney has responded and they say that it's an employment claim for money with no sexual harassment claim filed, everything is salacious. So basically, 
Meg's side is denying it, and then they're saying that Megan has been just like a terrible person to this Karen man. That was so. a fucking a phenomenal breakdown. Yeah, now I got great. a few questions, and this is what Karen about to earn his money. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, Yo, bro. No, I got He was <laughs> saying he felt very uncomfortable, Savon. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> you might be uncomfortable. Cause they said <laughs> they said she was doing it with a girl. I don't know because That's fine. I'm trying to be sensitive because it's like I don't want anyone to be uncomfortable in Not, any situations. You know? Like Yes, yes. I don't know. Uh, nah, nigga. She, he, you said he was the cameraman, right? So Her cameraman, yeah. He had the luxury. Like a photo photographer, photographer. Of <laughs> filming this shit. And he said he was extremely we don't take that uncomfortable. Serious. Nah, I feel. Nah, let me get serious. <clears throat> and he's, okay, okay. Yo, you HR, bro. Come on. Yeah, we here at the Need to Know podcast. <laughs> we don't condone any uncomfortability, foul play. <laughs> I want to see that shit. We do. <laughs> We ain't got none of those on the team. <laughs> HR talking. Man. I ain't gonna lie. That but shit hard. not everybody Yo. is save on where they just are comfortable with <laughs> being sexual in front of them. All right, so let's take a vote. Hmm? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to be politically <laughs> responsible here. Nah, nah, me too. Nah, you let's take a vote. Yeah, nah. Don't <laughs> in front of me, ma. <laughs> No, nah, okay, like, how you feel about that? Okay, but if there was two ladies having Fire sex, ladies. In front, having sex in front of me, I'm not filing a claim. Like, that's hard. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. But if you like, I'm not filing a claim against her. So. Yeah, nah. <laughs> okay, Alex, we know your answer. Okay, what fine, I said, whatever. What I said, nah. Because what if it's... I'm done being the responsible one in this pod? Okay, <laughs> I literally just read a sexual harass. No, not sexual harass. A, a, a lawsuit. And all we're doing is laughing at nah, him. No, 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 no. I feel. No, I'm with him. I'm HR. What, what else is said in the article? Reggie, you got the rest of that article or not? I do, but like, what else you want to know? No, no, no. Let me just see a little. We can skim because, you know, we jumping through topics real quick. She I said, got another topic to hit, and then when we up out of here. I mean, that was the summary. And that was it? All right, yeah, well, cool. Well, we gonna... Wait, wait, wait. He said, he said. Uh, and that's all, all uh, I had to say. Uh, uh, I mean, he, if this, the, if all this shit is true, Meg, Megan treating her cameraman yeah. like shit, that yeah. is. It's so big. Megan, what the fuck? The, the part like, that was disconnected for me was at yeah. some point he said um, she called him a Badass, I think, or was was referring to the fact that he was overweight or like nah. too much. Calling me fat while you is crazy, bro. I'm, yo. Uh, nah, you, that's crazy, that's, bro. This is what I'm saying. Nah, right that's now. that's that's absurd. Nah, we need to have some decency. She put him through it. Nah, she did yeah. it though. She gave no, him benefits in in his mind. Savon, that's a benefit to the he's job. He's saying he was very uncomfortable. If I got, he was just trying to take pictures. He got paid to watch that shit in person. No, he didn't. He got paid to take pictures in a car. He got paid to take pictures. He ain't like that. No, nah, actually, he was his. <laughs> she was his videographer. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. I keep I keep saying her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we gonna keep that news abreast. We got yeah. some more uh, today. Break, do 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 do. We got some breaking white news for you. <laughs> oh, white guys, beef. We, we're we're trying to increase our Caucasian viewership. Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Here's a gem for you. Now here's a gem for you. <laughs> she um, said for yes. <laughs> recently, I got to change my whole. Voice I don't know shit. what I said. I got to turn my twang off my shit. <clears throat> Let's do it right now. Let's do the Caucasian voice. Recently. Hey there, Alex. Recently. All right, buddy. All right, nigga, you better turn your shit up. I had to turn my shit up. Wait, you got, you got too good. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right, God damn it. You were right, ready man. to knock your socks off. Well, recently, Taylor Swift released a new album. All right. Sorry. Let's do it. Sound, sound like <laughs> Malt that, please. Um, well, recently, Taylor Swift has put out a new album. All right, buddy. And, you know, we love it here. Gosh darn it. We truly love it here. Now, what's interesting is it seems as if her and Kim K have issues. Oh, Holy smokes. Gee willikers. It seems as if they have issues. Now, you guys do know. Dude. You guys do know. <laughs> dude. You, you guys do know. <laughs> dude. Now, you guys do know that Kim Kardashian was married to Kanye West. Whoa. Oh, fucking shnikes, man. That's the one that made Stronger, right? Oh, my God. Might that have something to do with it? <laughs> I think. He was he was married to the Kardashian. Oh you know what's so crazy? Oh shit, man! The craziest part about this is Taylor Swift has released a new song on her album, right? And it's called "Thank You, Amy." Now let's spell "Thank You, Amy." All right, let's do it. T H A N K. And the title, the K is capitalized. Okay. All right. Y O U, lowercase. A I 
I capitalized and capitalized E E. So, folks, let me break down what that means for you. Mm. She basically only. Fuck, I forgot what I said. Capitalized. Yeah, capitalized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, talking like a white girl. Capitalized. Girl. My fault. K. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking like a white girl. No, yo, yeah, nah. you only have to I use was, both sides yeah. of your brain. I was using all four. I was using all four. Yo, all it's, sectors. It's all four wiring. quadrants. He was like, wait, yeah. what? My, the one, yeah, my wiring almost just snapped. <laughs> God damn it, that man. That spells thank you, Amy. She Willikers. And she, she capitalized Ken. <laughs> oh, man. So, guys, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's occurring, but we do know that Kanye West's daughter, North, daughter, daughter, <laughs> North, daughter, <laughs> daughter, Northwest. She's a rapper. What the fuck accent was <laughs> that? Oh, daughter, Northwest. Wisconsin or some shit. I'm trying you, you shit. You said it like it was spelled N-O-R-F. N-O-R-F. Oh, North. You said North. 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 I can't believe All right, that. See, that's not what we're doing here. That's not the segment. That's not the segment. That's not the segment, nigga. But we Because tonight will be. <laughs> that ain't the segment. Ain't. Turn around and die. die. Turn around and die. No, no, no. See, see, see. Alex is getting a little freaked out. See, right see, now. see I'm getting scared now. He's getting now. uncomfortable. Nah, say so nigga now. Say nigga now. Not okay, you, I'm Reggie. not going to do that. Yeah, not you, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> not you, Reggie. You, you say nigga. Yo, that's where the right. clip is going to end. Well, this has been a Need to Know podcast. Oh, wait, was that? No, um, finish hmm? the story. All right, my okay, fault. Okay, I wanted to play this for y'all. What end? She released her new album, The Tortured Poets Department. Among the songs, Taylor seems to be taking a major swipe at her nemesis, Kim Kardashian. We talk just like her. There's a song on the album called Thank You, Amy, which everyone noticed has a certain capitalization that spells out Kim's name. For those of you that don't know the beef that went down between them, let's get into it. In 2009, Kanye interrupted Taylor's speech at the VMAs when she was just 19 years old. Again, in 2016, Kanye Turn dropped his song Famous, which had lyrics dissing Taylor Swift. He says, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that famous. Kanye said she gave him permission to use those right, lyrics. I'm, I'm not interested in more shit. Now, <laughs> that's the white news we got for you today. Uh, I'm going to end on this. North got to respond. Is this racist? <laughs> Nah, no. Cause no tonight responding? will be the night <laughs> we'll fall was, for you. I am scared. Me, I'm out of this here. shit, bro. You didn't even know podcast. Wait, North don't got a response. <laughs> no, but you know she rap now. Yeah. Turn around and die. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Alice doesn't even know how to like respond to our energy right now. The fuck going on in here? I, I was praising God for walking in. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, bro, please. It's been a Need to Know podcast. What you need to know, when you need to know on the Need to Know podcast. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and leave your feedback in the comments because we truly do care about what you have to say. Can you just do it one time? Turn around. Come on. Do it. All of us are just him. Just Alex. Okay, one go. Time. Turn around and pray. No. Oh, bro. my God. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. You gotta for the for love, real, bro. bro. Look at your camera. It's okay. No, one of us has to stay like. Nah, nah. Just one not time. Not white. For the one for the one time. <laughs> he brought up the white beef. Yeah, no, because I'm, I'm talking to the fan. Hmm? Turn around. Turn around and pray.